The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, UNU Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Welcome to All In, everybody. I'm Jim. I'm Paul. I'm Donald Wisman. And I'm Dave. All right, Donald, seeing how... Uh... <laughs> I knew you was going to pick me first. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. That's because uh, I'm a lazy fuck. <laughs> you're, well, anyway, well, why don't we start the show out tonight talking about Toe Jam? I mean, everybody gets Toe Jam. And, I mean, I don't because oh, I could not I clip my toenails, but a lot of people got toe jam, guys. Oh, Donald, that's definitely getting the show off on the wrong foot, bro. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I'm very just good. kidding. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding, you guys. It was, just, it was an opener. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All I remember is Hard Day's Night and the Beatles were doing it. It was either that or help, I'm not sure which, but they were taking their toe jam and playing football with it. No way. Really? really? Yeah, they were kicking it. Never seen either of them movies. Uh, I've never seen Yellow either. Submarine. See, I did. I seen, seen that, that one. one too. Which one was the cartoon? Was that Yellow Submarine? Yellow, Yellow Submarine. Submarine. Yeah, that was a yeah. great fucking cartoon. I've man. seen Hard Day's Night too. I think it was the name of Hard Day's Night. Hard Day's Night. Yeah, you yeah. got to see it stoned. That's the only way to see Yellow Submarine. Baked I've out never been mind. stoned, guys. I've never smoked. I've tried pop, but I don't. I, I like I said before. You didn't before, hell, I just, right? No, I inhaled it, but it made me sick, man. And I've tried it ten times. I thought I was doing something wrong. And I actually tried it again and again. And the same feeling, guys. I get sick. I puke. I can't. I don't know why. Are you drinking when you do it? No. This is when I was even young. I was trying to see chicks. And I was sitting there toking away. And I went home and puked my guts out that night. Yeah, I'm I'm sure that impressed the fuck out of them. Oh, yeah. I I took off running. (laughs) I took off running. I was so I was so paranoid and uh, sick, man. I, I thought I thought there was something. It was laced with something. It could have been. It, you never know. You should have hung around. Maybe one of them would have sat on your face. You you never know. Well, I, that's back when I was like fourteen. But um, I was a wild kid when I was thirteen and fourteen. Right, same here. How old were you on the too. first time you got laid? Dude, I had a baby by a teacher of mine when I was actually 14 years old, an 8th grade teacher, and the world what? doesn't know about it. Yes, I've got a son out there that's almost the same age I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm like 13, 14 years older than he is. Wow. Wow. I don't yeah. tell everybody. Right. I just told oh, the you world. You just that. did. <laughs> I just told you the just world. Did, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere out there's some kid, right? He's like, told, he's like, Oh my God, my life is over. That's my dad. <laughs> well, she, she was hot, you guys. She was a hot teacher. I mean, she was blonde headed. She was in her thirties, or I mean, her yeah, thirties. I was fourteen. I mean, I was big for my age, but I'd hate to see what she looks like now, guys. I really oh, she's would. probably a fucking mess. Oh she's God, probably dead now. It, it, I don't know, but um, she went silent, man. My wife was uh, uh, calling her and saying, hey, I want to do DNA tests. And she told my wife if she pursued it that she was going to kill herself. And I was like, Linda, this back <laughs> off, man. Oh, I don't no, want to go for it. Back off of that. But the thing is, you know what, though, look, hey, guys, that, 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 that goes into the whole thing now. You know, nowadays, when, when, when boys and girls screw their teachers they got to tell everybody i don't done it and shut the hell up well i thought it was love i was in love though see i thought it was love but she she used me i was used you guys (laughs) i was used and abused (laughs) now the bad thing is though the bad thing is the boy's gay my son is gay he's gay oh man that explains it that explains it yeah, I that's look, your kid. I, I can look at I can look up pictures of him right now, and he's got little dildos of like little you know <laughs> penis and putting them up to his mouth. And if I would have raised him, I don't uh, think he would have been that way, guys. God. Well, I don't know. You, know. you were talking about Joe an awful lot. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. You gotta see, you gotta see Donald's profile. Uh, <laughs> right. Donald's Man Crush Monday. 
<laughs> oh God! I told Joe that though. I said, Joe, I'm not gay. Those guys just try to make me sound like I was yeah. gay. Um, it's Friday night at the all you all the dick you can eat buffet. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a bad one, Paul. That was that was bad, but it was good. But uh, what's that when you say gay? But there's nothing wrong with it, guys. You always got to say that after you say gay. Oh, that's, that's right. Not, yeah, there's nothing wrong. Let's with not it, talk though. about gay. Where's Jimmy at? Let's not talk about I'm gay. Right Jimmy around. <laughs> Wait, you want to talk about what? Jimmy doesn't like to talk about gay stuff. Oh, I thought Jimmy didn't like transgender stuff. Well, isn't that kind of gay? It's it's kind of the same, ain't it? Yeah, I mean it all falls into the same fucking. He's giving me flashbacks under of, the same uh, umbrella. What was it Benny? What was the guy? Oh, name? fucking um, oh fucking, what's his name? Sammy V. Sammy V. That's it. You guys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to mute for just a second. I've got a sweatshirt. I got to take it off, man. I'm already sweating. I'm sweating, guys. I got to take my sweatshirt off. I'm going to. I'm going to go mute. I'm going to mute it for a second. The show's already got too hot for Donald. Well, I guess. Yeah. Must have been that uh, Paul swearing. Yeah, yeah. Getting He's off. all flustered. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> well, that didn't take long. Yeah. Thanks. <clears throat> well, um, you guys, um, Paul, I, I did make another list for you. I know you just love my little list every Friday night. Yes. I, I, now, when you're ready, I, I don't know if you're ready now, but when you're ready, I got a list of the top ten worst actors this week. Worst. Worst? That's the worst, yes. And I'll start at ten. Whenever you guys are ready, <laughs> we, we don't That's have to it. Steven Let's Seagal. You, well, he's in there, but he, no, he's in there. Yes, you, you picked one of them. Yes, he's in there, but he's not number. He's not number one. No. <laughs> you let me go ahead and do my list since we're talking about. Go it. ahead. Do my list. List. I'll start at number ten and work my way to one. Uh, number ten, they've got it down. Keanu Reeves. I thought he was a better actor. I like Keanu Reeves. I like Keanu Reeves. I, like I, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. I, I do too. Out he was gay, and the... he's not gay. Yeah, he is. He was well, living with David Geffen. I didn't know no. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, if you're living with David Geffen, you're probably queer. Yeah. Now, there's a couple of these guys I've never heard of. You guys might have, and one of them, I can't even pronounce her name. Number nine is a guy named Tommy Wiseau. It's W-I-S-E-U-A. I can't pronounce that word. I don't well, even know who that is. is. Tommy Wiseau, I don't know. Um, number I've never eight. heard of him. Wiseau? Wiseau, yeah, that, that's it. Wiseau. I don't know what he plays in, <laughs> but number eight, Polly Shore, and oh god, oh, he looks god. horrible now. Yes, he looks, yeah, I uh, know he looks fucking horrendous, doesn't he? He's, he's freaky, guys. He's changed. I know he's a little freaky when he was younger, but man, um, and he's got a. He looks, looks like his, Larry Fine. Who's his mother? Don't he have like a famous mother or something? Yeah, she owns um, uh, Caroline's Comedy Shop. I knew he had some some kind of famous yeah, Caroline, or something. His mother's yeah, Caroline. She owns Caroline's Comedy Store. Number seven. I've never heard of this guy. Uh, Robert Pattinson. I've never heard of him. I've never heard Robert of Robert Pattinson. Pattinson. P a t t i n s o n. Never heard of him. No, never heard. Me neither. Uh, number six. Adam Sandler. Who would have thought? Adam Sandler. I do his movies suck. Wasn't I, he one of the top ten paid? Yeah, he makes a yeah, lot of done. money. Yeah, I think he, he was sucks. on that list, but um, he's uh, he's down as one of the worst actors, you guys. I swear, I wouldn't <laughs> lie to you. Number five, this is where Paul or Jimmy, one of you guys guessed it, Steven Seagal. He's got fat, you guys. Um, he's oh, not yeah, like yeah. he was. Um, hey, uh, did no, you see that show he had? Um, where he was on Cops? Where he yeah, was a real he was cop. like a cop or something like that? Or you, know, you know, he's static? actually a special deputy for that parish down there. He's been a special deputy for yeah. years. And the show was pathetic. Static. It's horrendous. Yeah, it was nothing like his movies. You know, uh, I can't even remember the name of him, but he wasn't a tough guy. It was like always like movies. three names, like yeah, Shoot to Kill or yeah. Live to Die or something like that. <laughs> he, he was pretty bad in those movies now when he was young, but um, Stephen, I guess we all, I, some of us, a lot of us get fat when we get middle age. You guys, uh, I do. I did. Um, I don't know about, well, Jimmy might have. Um, he, he's a fundamentally spread, unlikable spread person. Breakfast, man. I'm shot and fat. <laughs> wait a minute now. Um, wait a minute now. Number four. Now, I don't even like this guy. I don't even consider him an actor. Justin Bieber. Um, did, has he played in many movies? Yeah. Uh, I, he he's a, not an actor. He ain't an actor. They've got him listed. And number three is Miley Cyrus. Um, I, I, oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, no. Uh, she was Hannah Montana. 
Yeah. Yeah, she was Hannah Montana, but she made a lot of money as Hannah Montana. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she sure did. Her dad hoard her out her well. Hey, she ruined her reputation, you guys. I'm telling you, she really ruined her reputation. Hey, she's a she's a British citizen now, I think. What? <laughs> I heard I heard something about that, but I didn't know it was true. Yeah. His, now, her father's a disgrace for what he did to that girl. Yeah, Billy, like you said, Billy Ray Cyrus, I, I think he did use his daughter to get rich. Of course I he think, did for a fucking paycheck. And she would have never made it nowhere without his name. I, I know it was uh, um, Hannah Montana, but Miley Cyrus would have been nothing <laughs> without her father. You guys know that. Right. Uh, Achy Breaky. In hell. Achy Breaky, yeah. <laughs> hey, he what does got one good song. shit song. There is one good song that I like from Billy Ray Cyrus, so it's called All Gave Some. Now, that is a good song. I gotta admit that some gave all, all, all some gave all, all gave some, or some gave all, all gave some, some gave, some, all, some gave all. The song, I think. Some gave all. Yeah, that's a good. Now, number two, um, I haven't heard of this woman, but you guys might have. Kristen Stewart. Um, I've never heard yes. of her. Yes. Yeah, she's from Twilight, ain't she? Twilight. Twilight. Yes. Yeah, it's a girl, you know, right? She's not even that hot. Everyone makes her out to be so smoking hot. Uh, if you see not. her. If you've seen her in a supermarket just walking down the aisle, would you give her a second look? I look if she's shot. Now, they had pictures of him. She didn't look that bad in the picture. No, 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 they... no. But, I mean, she's not what they make her out to be, though. No, she's, she's kind of plain looking. But, um, yeah, she's, she's, she's not ugly, but she's not, like, strikingly beautiful. Do you she guys be if they put on makeup on her. Do you yeah. guys want to guess on the number one worst actress? Um, and she's not really played in that many movies or nothing. But actress, huh? Or actors, actors, I'm sorry, worst actors. Um, and this is a female, she's a female, and she hasn't played on that many movies or shows. Um, do you guys want to guess the female? Reese Witherspoon? No, nope. oh, she's been in tons of shit. I'll just go ahead and tell you, Paris Hilton. Um, okay. I don't know. Oh, okay. Hey, she, she she's been, been in one girl. film that I know of. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I've never seen that. I've never seen Paris. that. Yeah, Night in Paris. <laughs> Is that the name of the porno, A Night in Paris? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. i never she's seen a, it, you guys. Oh, boy, she's an active little thing. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. <laughs> and after, you know, she was running around Lionel Richie's daughter. You know, see, I think Lionel Richie's daughter is better looking than Paris is, you guys. Oh, she, yeah, definitely. She got off a of heroin. I didn't know she was on heroin. Oh, oh, oh Lionel yeah, Richie's bad. daughter. Ooh, boy. Bad, she, bad. You can't yeah, she, even tell that she's how... That's it's not like, her real father. They just... He married her mother. Yeah, but I... Oh, she, I didn't she know that. She OD'd like three or four times. I didn't she know that. She wouldn't have got that good looking from uh, Lionel Richie. I like Lionel sure. Richie, though. I don't I like, like his music, songs, but I like... Yes. I don't well, like his music. It's not my kind of music. Wait you know a minute, I mean? did you like him better? Um, he used to play on a band back in the 70s. What was the name of that band? Uh, I can't even think of it, you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I know what you mean. Uh, it was famous. It was a really famous band. Then he went on his own and you know made a lot of music right, in the yes. 80s. Uh, um, oh, shit, I just had it in my head. Bee Gees. It wasn't no. the Bee Gees. It was... Uh, no, I just had it in my head. It, it, it wasn't the OJs. No, it's not like, the OJs. Ah, crap. Now you, man, I can't Google. I got my phone set for something. I can't <laughs> Google it, you If guys. somebody knows the answer to this, call, call us. Call What's us. the number, Donald? Uh, yeah, I had it written down. It's uh, one eight hundred five zero eight five four three one. Yes, we are taking calls tonight, right, Jimmy? So if somebody I wants guess. to call I don't in. Know whose uh, phone it's going to go to. We don't even know whose phone it's going to go to. I well, think Joe set it up for mine. Well, yeah, call we the phone. And Jimmy will answer if you call, but we can hear you. But you will only be able to talk to Great, Jimmy. Now so. nobody will call. Call us. So we want to hear from you. We want to hear from the public. God you guys, help us all. You guys, um, you know, I, I could get nasty oh, on here without even being nasty. Speaking of, speaking of people that did porno tapes, I seen the one with China from the WWF in it. Ooh, she's Ooh. dead now, ain't she? She oh, died. Yeah, she died. He was Holy big, man. Holy crap. Her fucking, not to be gross or anything, her fucking clit was humongous. It literally looked like a dick. Dude! Oh, God, Jimmy! Oh, God, I knew you was going to say something. I, uh, I, see, I, I looked, I was like, what the fuck is this? Not to be nasty. Oh, my God. Not to be nasty, but was she bald or did she, like, have hair? Oh, no, she, no she was shaved clean. I don't like that shaved stuff, man. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm this, a more this, 70s guy. Didn't she make that no, with a wrestler? 
I, no, she made it with her husband. The one I seen was with her husband. I didn't she know made she one had with a wrestler. Yeah, you know, that one, the one they called Six or something like that? Ooh, I remember him. He was on with uh, Hulk Hogan at New World Order stuff, uh, NWO or something. Yeah, I remember Six. He was like a gigantic, greasy-looking motherfucker. Yeah, I, had, like really greasy, curly hair. Yeah, yeah, that was him then. I didn't see that. I, can you look it up on YouTube? Is it still on YouTube, you think? <laughs> I don't know and, if it's and, on YouTube. And, and they show you know her what? ass from behind, like she's standing there, and it was like square. It, it wasn't round at the bottom. It was Dude, squared I, off. I was like, Paul, oh, she would scare me. Fuck? She would scare me, yeah, Paul. Skid, I don't think skid. I could. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't do it anyway because I'm married, but even if I wasn't married, I don't think I could sleep with that big lady. Well, guys. you just, you, you probably shouldn't because if you didn't do it right, she'd whoop your tail. Yeah, I fucking oh advice. man, China, that'd be like sleeping with oh god, yeah, Andre like, the just, Giant or something, man. Just imagine little old me with her. You oh, think can... Andre that? You think Andre the Giant ever got laid? Honestly, you guys. Yeah, yeah, I think somebody did. I think somebody fucking stepped up to the plate. Oh yeah, I'm sure she was a heavy bitch. He oh, yeah. <laughs> He drank like seventy six beers at a bar in one sitting. What? Yeah. Yeah. He died. He died at a young age too, didn't he? Well, because he had gigantism. Gigantism. That's it. Yes. Um, Paul. Paul well, uh, you know, somewhere though, there's some girl. There, there was always some girl sitting there thinking, "I can take it." Yeah, I, I can do this. <laughs> you guys, what's that guy? And then, and then he started looping up her ass, and she was like, "I didn't sign up for that." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. See, now you guys got me thinking of this other porn star now. He's getting famous again. He played on a few movies. Some weird-looking guy with black hair. He's got a mustache. I can't think of his name, but he's played on movies and stuff. Uh, real popular in the 70s. Um, Jeremy? Ron Jeremy? Oh, Ron Jeremy! Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy! Yes, that's it. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. That fucking troll. The mustache did it. Yeah, what What porn star in the 70s didn't have a mustache? Uh, I know. Uh, oh, it just came to me. The Commodores, guys. It came to me. The Commodores. The Commodores. Yes. yes. It just what came to me. Ah, oh, crap. Now you're asking me. Um, they, they had all kinds of songs. Uh, I can't. I can't remember. Yeah, them. I don't listen. I never listened to R and B. So I, you know what I mean. Well, I just no, I that's way out of my league. They played them on the rock station in the seventies before they decided to get in their own. It, station. Yeah, well, yeah, like Casey and the Sunshine Band yeah. and all that. I remember crap, that. You know, I the Saturday disco night. Era. Saturday night. Yeah, I remember that song, man. Oh, that's before my God. time, guys. Dave, you got to remember some part of the seventies, yeah. don't you? Not a whole lot. That's almost before my time. Well, nineteen seventy-six, uh, the bicentennial. Born? Dave, Dave, what year were you born? Do what? What year were you born? 74. Yeah, okay. I was 69, or I was born in a fine year, guys. 1969. I was, you born, was, in, I was born in 65. Well, I've only got four years on you, but Jimmy, you was 18 when uh, uh, Dave was born? Yeah. 18. Man, that, you know, that don't sound like a whole lot of time. I could but... be your old man, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> you have to be your dad, man. Hey, yeah, Jimmy, I can I call you Papa? Oh, oh that would be awesome. Dad, be the first. call him, call him yeah. Daddy. Yeah, make sure you send him something for Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't picture it. I just can't. Well, I don't know. Oh, they got, be great? If they got gray and grew his hair out, maybe grew a gray beard, maybe, and put on some glasses, maybe he would favor Jimmy a little bit. Well, well you just get a promotional picture, right? You and Dave, like Dave in a Cub Scout uniform, <laughs> something like that, <laughs> standing next to you, father and son, oh, oh, holding, my, up, holding oh. up the, your fucking your, your project for Cub Scouts, something that you whittled. <laughs> what was oh, that, mean, that means that means I got what is it a, a six year old brother now, Jimmy, or, do, or or a brother or sister? Oh, you got a brother. Brother. Oh yeah, little brother. Well, little what brother was Maddox. Name, what was the name of that show that sung? Let me tell you about my best friend. Courtship of Eddie's father. That's it, man. Courtship of Jimmy's father. There we go. <laughs> we got <laughs> it. On the beach. You guys are going down the beach. And instead, like, you know how Bill Bixby was picking up the kid? 
Dave's picking you up. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you fucking ham it on the beach and he's going to pick you up to get you home. <laughs> I, I can't believe you remember his name, Bill Bixby. That's the guy who played the, uh, the Hulk, right? In the Hulk, yeah. Uh, yeah. He was also yeah, like David Rush. Uh, so the Elvis show. Files. You guys remember the I Elvis like Files? The you didn't, didn't like, like Bill Bixby. No, How could you not like Bill Bixby? Too clean. Oh, oh my! Boo. You tell me. You probably don't like uh, uh, what's his face that played on Little House on the Prairie. Uh, Michael Landon. Do you like Michael Landon? Jimmy? I never watched Little House on the Prairie. But you watch Bonanza. I did. Yeah, watch Bonanza. Little Joe. I like Michael Landon. Yeah, yeah. Little, little Joe. That's Little go. Joe. People always used to call me Hoss when I was growing up. Hoss. They call Hoss. me Hoss. I don't like that name. I don't like they that call name. Call me Hoss, Hoss with the sauce and the Come on. Now, we, now we call you Private Wronghole. Private Wronghole. Private, wrong ho. Private wrong ho. Yes, that's, that's my new nickname. Thanks. Thank you, yeah. Dave. Thank you. It was, on, it was taped on his, on his junior high school locker. Oh God! Well, you, you, know what we done, you know what we've done the last training with him is, is we, we made him a little name tag. Private Wronghole. Oh, that's beautiful. He should have to wear it in public everywhere he goes. <laughs> like, a fucking, Jimmy, like a crown of fucking thorns. Jimmy, you and Paul, you and Paul think that me, Les, and Dave sound like mm -hmm. Hicks. So I got a surprise. No, no, no. You guys we don't tonight. think it. You sound All right. like Hicks. All right. We sound like that. We, we sound like those people from the movie called Deliverance, right? Yeah. Well, not uh, you that much, but the other two, Dave and Les. Um, Dave. And Les is. Les, Les is. And, and Bama Boy, they would definitely. Well, can well, I, you can couldn't I, get two words out of Bama Boy, so how'd you know what his accent sounded like? Can I play a theme? Can I play our theme song then since we sound like hillbillies? Yeah. My new theme song. You ready? All right. Here it goes, Bellas. Here it goes. Let it rip. And you guys know what movie that's from, right? Deliverance. Yeah. Deliverance. Now, I will tell you guys, where me and Dave come from, Deliverance is a love story, you guys. Yeah. That's a love story of where we come from. <laughs> Sad love Wasn't that story. your high school th uh, prom theme song? Yes, it was. It was, and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Jim, or Dave was the guy that got tied up uh, to the tree. I forget his the, the guy. I tied up to the tree. <laughs> yeah, he was his stunt double. Uh, Ned Beatty's, he was Ned Beatty's no, stunt double. Not Ned Beatty. What's the other guy? Uh, John Boyd. He played that part. John Boyd. They you tied sure him to got the a tree. Pretty mouth, boy. Yeah, you sure got a pretty mouth, boy. I mean, could you imagine being tied to a tree and watching your friend get boo food? Come I on, kill, guys. I, I would kill myself. I would I would smack my head against that tree until at least I went unconscious. <laughs> well, remember what Ned Beatty told uh, Burt Reynolds in the movie? He said, hey, let's not tell anybody about this now when we get home. Uh, you know, you remember that? <laughs> it's yeah, funny, yeah guys. We'll, we'll keep that between ourselves. Oh, Ned Beatty, like I was telling you guys before you come on, I think he destroyed his career with that part. That part of that scene, that scene destroyed his career. Yeah, he did tons of shit afterwards. That, that goes back Ooh, to the yeah. yeah, camp yeah, and yeah. woke up. Him and um, who, Burt Reynolds, they were good friends. Yeah, um, you know Ned Beatty was a real tough motherfucker in real life. I didn't know that. Real scrapper. Yep. Dave wants to take you guys camping. Tell him about your camping trip, Dave. Oh, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. If we go camping and you wake up with a wet butt, are you going to tell anybody? I would tell everyone. <laughs> there you go. Especially the police. <laughs> That's First the best person, answer. The cops. And when they put you in that fucking lineup, I go, that's him. <laughs> that's the guy with the Vaseline in his hand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gay. It was forced upon me. <laughs> Dave was waiting on him to say, no, I wouldn't say nothing. And he was wanting, he was going to take you camping, Paul. He was wanting to take you camping. <laughs> it's never going to happen. <laughs> Never hey, Robert 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 <laughs> yeah. or, or if I do come you, home, I'll end up see, walking down the highway with my pants yeah. hanging down or something. Yeah, you see everyone sitting around a fire wearing bibs with a picture of you on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, let's just say, let's just say, Private Wronghole's mouth didn't get round from sucking on no banana, yeah. and his knees didn't get flat from praying. 
Yeah. <laughs> that's you're gonna, that's you're gonna stuff an apple in your face and something else in the other end. Well, just remember, Dave, I'll have my AK and my nines on my side, so uh, uh, you guys just try to get me down. Uh, you're going to have to kill me, brother. <laughs> I was going to say, do yourself a favor, shoot yourself. I just think put, I would. I, I put him right to. in the fucking brain box. I would. Before I would let Dave and him get me down, I think I'd blow my head off. You guys. <laughs> fucking A. Rice. I'd take, as, I'd take as many of them out as I possibly could. And when I knew it was an unwinnable situation, I'd blow my own fucking brains out. You know, not to speak politics, and it's not really politics. Right. But I heard I heard something like that from Dave just today, you guys. And I think he's serious. Dave said before they'd ever come and take his guns, um, they he would take he'd take a bunch of people with him. Nobody's taking his guns, guys. Yeah, they shouldn't be, and they shouldn't be uh, putting a ban on them either. Trust me, if you don't think for one second uh, cops don't know if there's ever a gun confiscation called for, that they're going to be fighting a host-to-host -host battle. What is gun control, Dave? On your words, what is gun control, Dave? Gun control, mate, gun control is using two hands. And being able to hit your target, right, Dave? That's right. <laughs> That's it. And, we, uh... Breathe normally, squeeze the trigger. There, there you go, but um, you got to have gun control. you got to have control of the gun. But the thing is, um, if they ever do come to take guns, that's when I think a civil war will break out in this country because they're not taking my guns either. No, they're going to do it city by city. And they will use the National Guard to do it. That's why we should have a AK-47s and assault rifles. To fight the fucking um, <laughs> well, I, hey guys, national being guard, a, I, being you know being whatever they the, got, we should have tanks. being in a position. Being in a position that I'm in, I can tell you guys, if I'd ever come around, it wouldn't be pretty. Well, I don't think a lot of um, um, law enforcement uh, jurisdictions, and I think a lot of the national guard would not um, would not obey the order. Well, you know, I think statistically speaking, they said about it would be a 50-50 split. Civil right. war. Civil war. And, and at that, we'd win in no time. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. I, well, you'd have the liberals, they would be running to us people with the guns trying to protect them. And it, I'll tell and you I'd say, get the fuck out of here. Well, no, we're going to declare war on the liberals, and um, I, I wouldn't protect them. No, I'm not going to protect Dude. these people. Dude. Uh, I will not protect somebody that absolutely despises my existence. And your country. They want to destroy... Well, I, we, we shouldn't get on that topic. Why did I even bring it hey, up? That's, right, that's okay. Don't worry I mean, about it. I, I, we wasn't supposed to talk about politics. We it can was, talk about whatever we want. It was more about guns, though. I mean, it was more to me, it was more about guns than it was politics. And uh, Dave was just talking the other day, and we was talking, and he said nobody's going to take his guns from him, and I, I agree with him. I agree with him. Well, the, uh, I seen a thing on Facebook today talking about, like, all these shootings done with AR-15s and, I, it, like, you know, how horrible the gun is. I go, to me, that's like a selling point. Uh, it's obviously a good, reliable weapon. They build them, don't you, Dave? Yeah, I can build them, yeah. I mean, the thing that everybody needs to remember is it's not an assault rifle. An assault rifle has multiple modes of fire. That's nothing yeah. more than an overdressed hunting rifle. That's all it is. It's a regular hunting rifle. It just looks scary. It's all cosmetic. Exactly. That's what scares them liberals, because it looks scary, you guys. It looks you scary. Can, you can put that next to a, a Ruger Mini-14 with a woodstock. They take they, they both have a 30-round magazine, yep. and liberals are going to pull their hair out at the AR and say the other one's okay. They shoot the same caliber bullet. They hold the same amount of ammunition. It's just the AR scary. I think they should make them pink so nobody's afraid of them. My wife's got a pink pistol. It's a little six hour twenty two, but it's um I wouldn't carry it, but it's uh, you know, it's okay for a woman, I uh, guess. My buddy Tim had a, a pistol with a pink handle. It was a lady uh, Smith and Wesson three fifty seven. And it was it was made for a woman's hand. And uh that fucking gun was awesome. You can because I got little hands, I'm a little person. That fucking thing fit right in my hand. I asked him to sell it to me. The cocksucker sold it to somebody else. Do you, do you I think, carry I'd get pissed off if I got shot with a pig I'd, gun. 
<laughs> well, do you want? I, the last thing you would see was me standing over you, holding it, going pink handle. <laughs> That's not a pretty scene. I don't want to see that, uh, Paul. And then Paul all of a sudden, in the going. background, you'd hear the music from Deliverance. <laughs> oh, oh God! <laughs> I, can't, I can't even imagine. Uh, honestly, if we yeah. come out to visit you guys, I mean, the first thing you guys, you guys would be thinking in your head. I know the first thing would be. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now, Dave going. I just got shot. How could this day get any worse? I'd be like, oh, it's about to get way worse. <laughs> okay. And then cue the music. If you only knew, Dave, if you only knew who you was talking to, God, oh my God. <laughs> what do you think? Come on, cue in on this, Dave. Yeah, he's Googling on, Dave. my address right now. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'm, I'm Googling it right now. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he's finding your coordinates right now, Paul. He's locating your coordinates right now. Uh, no, his coordinates at my house. Back <laughs> off a little bit. Go about 15, 70 feet north. <laughs> oh, man. That movie, uh, weird. what was that? Uh, I don't know where Cap Val Kilmer was young, and they aimed that laser, and that guy's, uh, the teacher's house filled up with popcorn. You guys remember that? Movie? Oh, yeah. Um, Real Genius. Real Genius. That was a good movie, man. Yeah. I like that. I remember seeing it. They that was don't a make great fucking movie. I, I, don't, I don't remember that either. The you guy that lived that. behind the guy that lived behind the bookshelf. Remember, he had that. He yeah. Go down the stairs and shit. And he got all those coupons and we got all that free stuff from Kellogg cereal and stuff. Yes. Yeah. That was a yeah. great fucking movie. What about when he put that microphone in that guy's mouth and he said, "This is Jesus talking to you," and he thought it was God. And he said, "We know what we know. You've been playing with yourself." And um, it was funny, you guys. It was a funny. It was. Movie. It was actually a good movie. Well, my wife, I was talking to her today about a movie, and I can't think of the Better Off Dead. That was it. It had John Cusack when he John was John Cusack in it, yeah. You, you remember the little hamburger that got up and started singing, um, Everybody Wants Some, the Van Halen, yeah. The Van Halen tune, yeah. The, the, the paper boy, I want my $2, my $2. Then, uh, uh, the, the fuck, when he pulls up to the stoplight and the two Asian guys yeah, in the car next yeah. to him. Yeah, they're, they're, one they're advertising. One can speak English, and he the speaks other one talks Tyler like Cosell. Tyler Cosell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, funny movie, Dave. You got to catch up on some of these '80s movies, man. A uh, booger. Oh. Uh, the, remember booger? Yes, yes. His they buddy? were going to. They were going to ski down that what? What was it? K two or something like yeah, the that. K two. Yeah, I know. He, yeah, booger ate boogers. By the yeah, way, he's snorting, you know, the, he's snorting the snow because they can't find any drugs. <laughs> well, you, Paul, you now you brought it up, boogers. But um, I, I was I was going to tell you guys this later. But have you guys ever been driving your car? Now Dave's a truck driver. I'm sure he he's seen a lot of this. But have you ever stopped at a red light and just look at people? I mean, just notice the guy next to you on their left or to the right. I watch people, and I'm telling you guys, I watched this one lady. She's a big old lady, and she didn't know I was watching her and she was in her car just dancing around with the music then i watched her you guys she took her finger inserted it in her nose and pulled yeah. this big nasty booger out yeah. i swear to you she put it in her mouth you guys I'm, i started I'm blowing my horn to people around me good for her good for oh, her good for her that was yeah. nasty, protein, man. Yeah. that's protein protein yep protein goddamn right Dave's trying to teach us how to survive. I guess we'll have to survive that's right. boogers, Well, man. that's in, in jail. <laughs> the jail. That's how you survive. You totally ignore everybody around you. You don't want to be an eyewitness. You don't want to be anything. I was, so I don't look at anybody on either side of me. I was at a stoplight one time, and I was looking at the person next to me. And um, I was listening to um, uh, the who. And I'm in front. And the lady next to me is like singing the fucking song. I was I like, oh, she's listening to the same song. It was so, gross. <laughs> Jimmy, you don't look over to the guys or the woman next to you when you're parked at a red light? No. What about you, Dave? Do you pay attention uh, to the oh, people? Oh, I can tell you stories, some stories that just curl your hair, you know, in a truck for 20 I'm years. oblivious <laughs> to my surroundings. Well, they most, of, pie, most of them I, have something to do with masturbation behind the wheel. Dave well, a, yeah, pretty much. Dave is up high. You guys got to remember that he's in a semi. I'm sure he's seen a lot of cleavage, you guys. I know his wife's uh, probably listening. His wife is probably listening. I'm not trying to be dirty. I mean, Dave can't help what he sees, though. You know what I mean? That's right. He didn't make the Yeah, thanks a lot, Donald. You he's just not, got me in he's trouble. He's not dressing him. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, could you imagine, though, Dave looking down and all the cleavage that he's seen in his over the years he's been truck driving? I mean, the things he could see that high up. You can see yeah, a lot of I things. Know it. Hey, I, I tell you a quick story. I had a red, pulled up to a red light city limits one time. Uh, blue I rock. Remember the old, the old like the I rock. Yep, T tops. Two girls in it. One of them was leaning over, taking care of the other one at the red light. Blue no way. <laughs> yeah, no way. I blew, the, I blew the horn. They they looked up and smiled. Took off. I would have ran them off the road and did stuff. Hey, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy, made a movie. Jimmy, you're missing out, man. You're missing out, Jimmy. You need to start paying attention to these people, man. Uh, the world is horrible. I don't want to pay attention. Uh, like I said, I had six years in jail and turning it wearing eye blinders. There, I came out and I still wearing them. So you just stay to yourself. I mean, you guys. Uh, yeah, days. I stay to myself because I, I, I fear if I get into conversation with people, I'm going to end up, you know. Oh, I've seen, it. Yeah, I've seen Jimmy totally lose his shit. It's fucking amazing. Uh, the adrenaline <laughs> kicks in, and it just doesn't stop. <laughs> Jimmy goes from zero to fucking retarded. Yeah, but something... yeah, yeah, can't, uh, can't you see it? I'll be like, stop, Papa, stop. <laughs> but you guys, Jimmy, something bad could happen to you if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Dave got all over me that day. Well, he didn't get really all over me. Um, I was parked out in front of my house waiting on him, and I was messing with my phone. And he come up and knocked on my, my window really hard. And I mean, it scared the bejesus out of me. I mean, a heart come out of my mouth. And uh, uh, Dave told me, he said, Donald, you got to start paying, paying attention to your surroundings. And so um, I'm going to start watching you guys. I mean, you never know who's going to come up to you. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I pulled up behind him. Revenue, revenue motor and he's got his head down in his phone like whoa, 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 whoa. then this big bang happens to my window and i almost went through the roof and i mean, i got a little car my truck got hit by a drunk driver i'm in this little sissy red car and i you know my head bends over i mean you guys don't see the way i look in this little car <laughs> like mr incredible yes 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 yep 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 and, and it looks ridiculous. I can't help it, guys. My car got, my truck got wrecked. My truck. Uh, I'm, I'm driving my, it's a Kobo, you guys. It's a city Kobo. Yeah, I was going to say, like, like Herman Munster getting out of a fucking Hyundai. Yes, that's, I, I, that's I what I look like. Fred Flintstone. Yes, it is. I look worse. It's probably worse. And to beat all you guys, it's a red car. It's a little girl red car. Oh, and that it's a is woman's awesome. car. You've got to send me a picture. I want you in the driver's seat, like, waving, like, really gay, though. You know, and you know what? <laughs> the car probably leans to the left when I'm sitting in it. It probably does. I weigh 320 pounds, you guys. Oh, and I, I feel like a monster in this car, man. What the fuck does it cost to feed you? I don't eat much. Now, I, 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 hey, I am losing weight. I am losing some weight, guys. 220 is not that bad. I'm 180. Three, no, 320. 320. 320. 320. Wow. I was up to almost 380 at one time, um, Jimmy. I weigh, I weigh about 140 pounds. How tall are you? I'm 6'2". Oh, all right. You got the height. Well, I, weigh about a, I weigh about 140 pounds, so 140 and 140 is um, 280. 280. You weigh more than double what I weigh. Yeah, go on, your little guy. You're almost, I weigh you're more than double what you times. weigh, uh, Paul. Huh? I yeah. weigh more than double what you weigh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, go on, Paul. You are. What about you, Jimmy? How much you weigh? How much did you say? 180. You 180. You're you're kind of a little guy then. I'm five five and a half. Oh. <laughs> I'm five four. So if you was a little taller, though, it would blend. You know what I mean? When you're taller, it stretches oh, your fat out. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, they're kind of like, like, like the swallowed a basketball. The New England Munchkins. The New England Munchkins. <laughs> I, I would say something dirty, but I, I don't want to be I, too dirty. I prefer uh, little people. Look, you guys. Right. Don't mess with the little people. They yeah. will mess you up. That is right. We can sneak in anywhere. I'm afraid of midgets. And we're guys. really angry about the short jokes. So. Midgets scare me. I've had break ins where they sent me in because I was the only one that fit through the hole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hung around with older people. Oh, God, man. Don't mess with me. I'm scared of midgets, you guys. Midgets, for some reason, they give me the heebie jeebies. I don't know why. I'm not being racist against midgets. There's I something about them. the snot out of me. What? No, no, think, no, think yeah. about this, though. Jimmy telling us how tall he is, and then his the picture that Jimmy put up. You know what just popped into my mind? The Hobbit. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you know them trolls with the Troll fucking God. hairdo? Jordan knows. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you guys were that short. I really didn't, man. And he's like a, a cabbage patch kid with an alcohol problem. Well, yeah, but that's him. <laughs> Hey, out every okay. night. We can talk about Jimmy all we want because tomorrow he won't remember. Exactly. That's right, yeah. Not unless Paul leaves a note on him. Oh, I'll remind him. Trust don't, me. Don't leave a note on him because Jimmy will get mad at me tomorrow. <laughs> Jimmy, Paul, I love you guys, man. Not as gay, but I love you as friends. And uh, yeah. hey, Donald, I'm, what else? Hey, who? What else do you love? We know. Yeah, now, you now, love, now, you, now I am actually insulted. We just all friends. Here. I, well, Peter Griffin, I, I, you know that came out bad that night, you guys. I couldn't think of his last name from the Family Guy. Yeah. That night we was talking about the Family Guy, and I said I love Peter. I, I couldn't remember <laughs> the guy's last name. I mean, I totally put my foot in my mouth, guys. I put my Did, foot right in my mouth. We got to find that. Well, we got it right now. We just said it. It, it's like, like, hey, and we can just hey, like every once in a while we'll just hit a button that, that'll repeat that. Oh yeah, god, that'd be Peter. horrible. That would be horrible. Peter. I love Peter. You guys just kind of you could do that. You guys oh, probably I could do, do that, that, couldn't you? And every time I it would go blank, you guys just, just have me saying, "I love Peter." I love yeah. Peter. That, that would sound horrible. We gotta that do would a be horrible. We gotta, we gotta <laughs> do a promo, anyways. Oh, don't do we'll that, you guys. That yeah, we hey, haven't this, done one for this show, huh? This That's right, Don we got to do a promo. This is Don Whisper from All In. I love Peter. Uh, join us yeah. every every, <laughs> every <Blue> Friday <laughs> night. <laughs> don't do that, please, you guys. <laughs> hey, you know, the music the music can be can be doing banjos from Deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh, Actually, God. we will do that. We'll do the promo with um, doing banjos. That yeah. sounds be good. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll but be you, great. You've got the um, beginning of that where it starts out slow? I've got the whole I've got the whole thing right from the movie, uh, you guys. We gotta have Les do most of the talking though. <laughs> oh, God. I'm telling you, <laughs> his voice is less perfect. Less than you guys. No, but he I'm is saying it's perfect. I'm not it trying to perfect. be a dick. It is perfect, you guys. I love it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love <Jack. laughs> I've got it on here. Them guys talking at the beginning too, but we won't listen to that, man. I could probably get it on there where Ned Beatty's even saying, "Come on, don't do it. Stop it. Stop it." Yeah, um, have it in the I, background. I won't play that though. It's it's kind of dirty, you guys. No, usually um, when we do music for uh, commercials or promos, you don't have any talking because <laughs> then it takes away from the promo. They right, it's got to be the music. The music. Gotcha, so it's just music. Gotcha. Well, your guys' is though, it says uh, tax the rich, feed the poor, but you don't start talking until the well, music that's, plays, do you? Right, that's an intro. Right. If, it, right, it's an intro. That's different. If you do a oh. promo, you need music because we're talking. Now, wait like a when we promo. do the weekly lineup, we got Led Zeppelin uh, when the levy breaks. Right, and it's just the music. It's 120 seconds with no no talking. Well, my we can't do that no more. No singing. We can't do that no more. My promo and intro is the same music, though, you guys. It's always that. Um, you do uh, know Ross you can't Stewart. use more. You do know you can't use more than thirty seconds, right? I didn't know that. No, I didn't. No, twenty. Oh, twenty. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's why for, his, for your promo. intro is twenty seconds. Yeah, down. you can't use anything that's not. Uh, we don't have uh, copyright permission. Uh, yeah, anything exactly. over twenty is copyrighted. Oh, when you play twenty seconds of music, you mean? Once you play over twenty seconds, it's copyright infringement. I didn't know that. Yeah, we like, didn't either. <laughs> I, well, I didn't either until I started this. <laughs> I wonder if that's the same with Facebook, because every time I've ever played music on Facebook, my, my video gets banned. Oh, I don't really? know. Yeah, you can't play that's music. That's probably the reason. Copyright, buddy. And, um, it that's could right. be. You, I thought you guys um, having your own radio station, though, you had permission to play music, or do you do, or you just can't do it with intros? No, uh, see, when, when we do the shows, that's the only difference. But Joe's already got a, a playlist of all the songs that he plays on the radio on the Rano shows. Right. We could use one of them. All of them, have, he's paid for the copyrights. Oh, have to be I got it. We could use any of one of them. Play the whole fucking song. Yeah, we could play the whole song if we want. So it's a, it's, a, playlist is. it's a big process to have your own radio station. And, I mean, because you guys do play music. You know, all day, you know, in between these shows, you know, when there's not shows playing on this station. Right. 
Just just imagine Joe meeting with his fucking guinea boy to fucking hash that shit out. Well, <laughs> oh, well, who, who picks the music, though, guys? I mean, Jimmy, oh, Joe, Joe, Joe picks the music. What music? <laughs> the music on the station. I like the music. Oh, yeah. it's, it's mostly oh, it's 80s. horrendous. I like the music. Oh, it's I mean, horrible. I really do. It's 80s. Most of it's 80s, you guys. And oh. I was wondering, I was Donald, wondering if Jimmy Donald, picked it. Donald sucking back up to Joe again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, I love the music. It's great. I no, honestly, twenty-four hours of it. I can take three songs of it. Honestly, I thought Jimmy picked all the music. No, I didn't know. No, I didn't know that. No, I thought that then was it'd Jimmy. be listenable. Yeah, if, I mean, if if we were picking the music, it would be much better. Yeah. No, I mean, well, how much work this goes in? I mean, I hate to ask this on a live show like this, but no, go like, ahead, like, people like, play, like playing those mu- that music all day. I mean, yeah. does somebody sit up at night and just push in like what songs they're going to play? No, all, you know, they all made a big playlist. Yeah, no, it's a huge twenty-four list just, hours yeah, long and then it loops, and then it loops. But no, what it is is it stops when we do our I'll be right shows. Back, gentlemen. Stops when we do our shows, but when I'm done with the shows. It goes back to the music. It starts from the beginning. It doesn't pick up where it left off, and that's the problem with it. I thought I was listening one day, though, and in between songs, I thought I could have swore one day that you came on there and was, like, giving a lineup. Um, does that happen? I mean, I, I could have swore that happened one night. Yeah, me and Paul day. doing the lineup. Yes, dirt. You know, in between songs, like through the day, sometimes you guys will come on there and you'll do oh, the Joe, lineup. Joe, Joe must have a, a copy of that, and he he programmed it along with the playlist. Oh, that's I all got pre-recorded. I got so, um, wonder what made Joe put put our um, uh, promo up finally, a picture of All In. I mean, I noticed it wasn't in there for a long time. This this All In show. Um. You mean when, uh, uh, yeah, the only photo has been me and Paul. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I just now seen the, um, that's what I'm saying, I just now seen the promo, so we must be getting some Oh, uh, when I go up tonight, Joe might have changed it already. He's the one that changes it in Spreaker. That's oh, where okay. it comes from. Now, okay. whether he changed it to the right size or not, oh, it's going to be like pot talk, you know, half, half my pitch is missing. Now, eventually, are we going to come in here in a room that's called All In instead of Pot Talk Room? Oh, and this one, uh, only because I, I, I could pick your room. It doesn't matter. Oh, so you did, so it don't. Nobody knows that, that we're in this room. <laughs> oh, I didn't talk, make right? a separate one for All In. No, I don't see the uh, <laughs> the reason to. Like I said, I'll do it in your room. I'll do it in my room. Oh, it don't matter. I, I was just wondering. I mean, yeah, it's, so it's just a separate room up for something it, we already have. Right. right, right. So it's just extra work for you to do that is all. Uh, yeah, I am a lazy son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy, I, I, I can say cuss words. Um, Dave is teaching me how to cuss in um, tech. Or not tech whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, I ain't teaching you how to well, cuss. Well, I can say words. What, what's this called, Dave, again? These words we use. It's um, you, you said it earlier. Um. But anyway, um, I, I just want to say, well, Foxtrot, Uniform, Charlie, Kilo, Mike, Echo. So that's me uh, saying bad language, you guys. Now I, I learned how to say bad language in um, in code. Is that right, Dave? Is it coded words, right? <laughs> Was that fucking Navajo? No, no that's an <laughs> actual, but the yeah, army uses. Yeah, it, Donald, Donald, Donald's what a code is, talker now. Yeah. Instead, yeah, instead of wind talkers, he's a shit talker. I love this. Dave gave me this piece of paper last week. I love it. I've been I've been using this to all kinds of people, man. I've been saying stuff, and they're like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, ah, got one on you now. Ah, I love it. I, I, Dave gave me the whole list, and it's for each each word, it's use the first letter. It's pretty cool, man. I mean, but, like the, you know, the Germans and everybody, the enemies, they've yeah, done figured it out, but... They, it's just cool, you guys. It's something cool. We used to I do like that. Same that? code they use them when they're doing when they're giving license plates number over the phone. Exactly, like you know, the exactly, I was going to yeah. say, like Fox Trot, Zulu. They all get that from the uh, military. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> funny you said Zulu because that's my name, Zulu, right, Dave? I'm Zulu. Um, we, Is I that can't Shaka take... Zulu? No, no, that's what I thought. I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you everything because there is some secrets. But um, there is one piece of paper that I got, and we were told if we're taken captured or if we're captured or something, we have to eat this paper. Or Dave's going to kick our ass. 
They just want to kick our ass. God, I hope some. I, God, I hope somebody puts fucking cyanide on that paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's our code, and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of militias around that would love to have our code. And Dave come up with a genius <laughs> idea. I mean, it's just something great, and it's secret. I can't really talk about it, you know, but I gotta eat it. Too late, no, too late. I, mean, yeah. I, I, I didn't get the code out. I, mean, I just said it's twice. You better hope he never gets captured. He's just going to spill everything. Well, that's what I told Dave. I said, I don't have any teeth. How am I going to eat it, Dave? He said, I don't care. I just swallow it. I said, okay. Yes, sir. I said, gum it to death. He, that's what he said, gum it. He said, Christ. get it down Could your neck. Get a lot of spit in your mouth and chew it. <clears throat> get it down your neck, Don. That's what he said. I said, I'll stick it up my ass if I have to, Dave. I'll get rid of it. But, uh, do, you know, do you know what you do is just put it on silly putty, right? And if the enemy catches you, just squish it. It. What do you? Oh well, that would put it on the silly, silly putty. putty though. You can fucking put it on silly putty. I mean, there is a lot of things I can't tell you guys, but it's a. I mean, we we belong to a great organization, and he started it. I mean, he is our CEO, and it, it's wonderful, you guys. I, I'm talking about it because I'm proud of it. I'm very proud of what I'm doing he, right now. He's got a secret handshake. No, not that I know. <laughs> no, of. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. But you guys know the name of our Don't militia, reach right? Around. No, no. Now, Dave does get us. He mounts us. I can say Dave does mount us. And, and he half mounts us. He half mounts us, too. We do, get, we do get mounted. But we got a clipping. I know it. Hey, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. I'm sticking my foot in my mouth. I'm sticking my foot in my mouth again. Um, I didn't mean it that way. But that's what he calls it. Get down, I'm mounting you. And, uh, very late, Donald. Well, I agree. Wow, I mean, he's very demanding, isn't he? It, well, it's, we train hard, you guys, and it's um. I can tell you guys. <laughs> Dave's hard on training. I mean, it's hard. I mean, it's physical, you guys. <laughs> is it really hard? Yeah, it is hard. Is it hard? Is it hard? Is it hard? I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. I'm not in the 20s anymore. Donald, Donald, Donald said, is that a gun in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? <laughs> oh, God, Dave. You know, you know, you know, uh, one of the, you know, some of the sheep dogs are probably listening. Is that a grenade in your pocket? Some of the sheep dogs are probably listening, you guys. Now, I'm going to be embarrassed again. Now, again, i got to face the sheep dogs. <laughs> Why do my do foot this? Foot. I don't know. I put my You're foot in my mouth. You're talking about hard and mounted in the same fucking. Uh, I didn't uh, say sentence. hard. I said <laughs> you, know, you said he's <laughs> very hard on us. Hard <laughs> on us. Oh, mounted. Well, all right. Maybe I said the wrong words. I said the wrong words. <laughs> but come on, this is all in. I didn't mean it to sound like he that. Could, he could have just said he had a semi. No, 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 I've never. No, I don't think Dave gets a hard on when he mounts this. I don't. I don't hope he doesn't. Hey, blue veins are armor, baby. Blue veins are armor. Dave, he didn't sound very confident with that one. No, he didn't. He didn't, did he? I'm gonna get kicked out. I'm gonna get kicked out of cheat dogs for sure. Hey, Dave, you need to remember something. You're still, you're still on probation, buddy. Oh, I better, I better shut up. Now he's on double secret probation. <laughs> Remember, guys, I gotta go out in the boonies with this guy next weekend. Oh my god, I would pay real money not to be there. Uh, <laughs> <take me. laughs> it's funny though. I mean, it's fun. I love it though. Um, it's called the United Sheepdogs of Ohio, and they train. We train hard. I I can't keep up with them, you guys. You have bias and shit. Uh, I can't tell you everything we do, but um, we we just train you guys. Um, no, I mean the campfires. I haven't. Of I'm not going to spend they're the they're night. Going nowhere. Wait a minute now. Right, so, some um, of the guys just, are going to spend the night. I'm not spending the night. Um, record an audio around the campfire one night. Oh yeah, That's you all. gotta, you gotta, you gotta send us some fucking video. David, we'll, we'll, we'll send you some you video. You know what I mean? Am I yeah. allowed to go live, Dave, during a live uh, during our practice and show these guys? Can uh, I do that? Yeah, or, yeah we'll, we'll we'll figure something out. Uh, All right. Maybe, don't divulge maybe, too much information. No, no. I maybe I'll record it. I won't go live. Maybe I'll record some of it. And no, no, it no, 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 no. I want live. I want live just in case something really cool happens. That's up to Dave. <laughs> Donald shoots himself in the foot. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's probably what ended up happening. Now, now that I'm, I've got everybody but Dave thinking Dave walks I'm, over and shoots him in the foot. <laughs> yeah, I would Darn I can't bend down because I got a hot on. Well, I tell you, if you if you screw up, if you screw up, Dave, Dave probably would smack the crap out of one of us if we screwed up. You know, when it comes when it comes to live fire, I'm sure he's he's going to be pretty strict on us that night that day. You guys, oh shit, that would be great. Him giving you guys all a big fucking dressing. Down like the fucking uh, drill sergeant from Full Metal Jacket. Oh, yeah, you know, like, I, I mean, know they I mean, do that. Yes, yes. Brad the wrong hole. Yeah. <laughs> what is your major malfunction? Dave could probably be worse than that guy. He could probably be worse. <laughs> I haven't pissed him off yet, though. I don't think. I hope I haven't. You're, oh. you're doing a pretty good job tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. oh he's been stellar. <laughs> um, I think we'll change the subject now, guys. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, oh, that's funny. I'm just, <laughs> that's what you do <laughs> hey, but, but but all serious, you guys. Um, I was I was reading this story earlier, and this lady who lives in Georgia's, she attempted to tear off her boyfriend's genitals. Genitals. Oh, over I saw at, that. Did you I see that? that? Over a disagreement about household chores. I mean, she got arrested for battery and family violence. I mean, don't mess with the family jewels, chicks. Yeah, I mean, really. You mean crazy. she was trying to like pull it off? Pull yeah, his she was trying to rip off. it. She was trying to rip it off. I'm glad oh, you seen that, Dave. I'm glad you seen that. That's and a- then she got in the cop car and was muttering under her breath, and the cop heard, thought he heard her say, "I wish that I, I wish that I would have ripped his dick off." Hey, <laughs> could you imagine somebody trying to rip your genitals yeah, off? Yeah, I know, dude. Go with the lane of Bob it with the knife at least. <laughs> yeah, at least it's I mean? quick. Ooh, God, you guys, that, you know that guy actually had sex after they put that thing back on him. Mm. I mean, oh, wouldn't yeah. you? Wouldn't you be afraid it would come off or something again, though? No. Be <laughs> it you pull out and it's gone. You're like, it's gone. I know it was here. You blow a <laughs> load, Jimmy. you lose half a dick I, I again. Just seen it. It was just, it was just attached to me. With a G- Jimmy, to Jimmy lost the rubber and got a kid. Can't you see it? Uh, <laughs> we need to go to the hospital. Yeah. I need to retrieve my penis. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's not like a fucking set of car keys. Oh, I, I know. I just put them down somewhere. Didn't they, they film go? that? Didn't they make a porn movie with that Bobbit guy having yeah. sex after that? Yeah. I mean, I couldn't imagine that. Could you guys imagine them reattaching what your thing? I can't you? imagine that Ooh. she didn't do high I can't imagine them cutting it off. Her name that was Lorraine, right? Uh, Lorraine. Uh, she would, I don't care. Whatever happened to my life after that point, she would be dead. I, she would be dead. I would strangle her as slowly as I possibly could. Oh, man. That'd be like that uh, Ted Nugent's uh, song, Stranglehold, baby. Yeah. I mean, I, no, no, I couldn't take that. I mean, just to make I, sure, just to make sure after hospital, I strangled her, I'd uh, go down a fucking flight of stairs. I mean, there are some <laughs> bad people, bad people out here, but that guy, did he really deserve that, honestly? I mean, what did no. he do? I don't even know. Did he beat her? I don't even know what he did. To, to, no, he, he didn't beat her. On her. Yeah, it was... Cheating. It's been a while back. Jealousy. I, I, jealousy. I mean, that. oh my gosh, that's the worst thing you could do to a guy. Just, just imagine you find out you're dating her. Yeah, like, I she's got she's got to go by a different name. She oh, yeah, she would no never find a boyfriend. Oh, yeah. There's no way nobody would ever date her. Yeah. Will you oh, be afraid? Yeah. Could you sleep with her and wake up, man? I mean, <laughs> you better, you better how do you live in a house with not, uh, no nuts? Yeah. You see her on fucking, like, Tinder or something. <laughs> Swipe left. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, you guys, I'm going to mute out for just a second. got to put my jacket back on. I'm going to smoke while I'm talking. All right, I'm going to welcome the people that are just joining us because that's what Joe advertised at 8 o'clock. Yeah, we actually came on at 7. 7, so if you folks, for future reference, we start at 7 p.m. Yeah. Eastern. It's it's on, it's on the, uh, the weekly And we go for up. two hours. Until Joe takes an hour away from us. No. What was you just advertising, Jimmy? <laughs> I missed it. Uh, he was, o'clock. He was yeah. telling everybody to Joe in. advertises our show at 8 o'clock instead of 7. Yeah, well, we we did kind of do this uh, on the cuff. You know what I mean? I mean, right. let, let's, let's be honest, though, guys. Joe probably thought we didn't have capability of doing two hours. Right. right. It's, it's easy. Two hours is easy. 
if you heard our show last night, we didn't have the capability no, to do one an hour. hour. <laughs> I know. We couldn't do a half hour we were searching. I literally kept looking at the clock. Damn. Are you guys... What? Are you yeah, guys having man. fun tonight? Or is everybody having fun oh, tonight? Oh no, I'm having a ball tonight. This is great. <laughs> I love it. I mean, Dave, are you having a? Are you having fun tonight? Uh, I know absolutely. It's, I know it's mostly at my expense, but I don't <laughs> care. But um, <laughs> uh, it, we, yes, all, we've all got, we've all we've all took our shots tonight. Yeah, yes, damn yes, right. yes, yeah, I'm I'll probably going to get my ass kicked. Guy. I'm going to get my ass kicked um, next weekend. I know it's coming. Um, I'm I'm going to be pre prepared for it. I'm going to dress uh, <laughs> uh, with a lot of layers of clothes on next week in case yeah. Dave shoots me with hey, a, one of those airsoft nah. guns. Yes, oh, oh, I, can, I, I got just, seventy degree weather coming next week. I, I hope this so. is federal. Layer weather. clothes, layer clothes won't stop a five five six bullet. Oh, right. I yeah. thought you was going to get me with an airsoft, <laughs> Dave. We, Come on. We, we were asking about him sending a video. It's going to look like a fucking hostage video. <laughs> well, Dave's got an airsoft gun. It's, it's like. Semi-automatic or, or fully automatic, man. He could he could hurt somebody bad with that thing, man. And I, I'm just I'm dreading the day we have to go and train with that. Yeah. He, oh my god! It's for it's for training, and I I just know he's going to get us one day. He's going to get us with that thing one day. I know it's coming, and um, uh, it'll probably he's probably going to get me this weekend. I I wouldn't doubt it. I can see it now. There's like a there's a car there's a car and it, it's got a sign on it that says tank. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. It's oh, like God. a beat up piece of shit. Doesn't the engine doesn't even start? They just shoot at it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find me a football helmet before next week's meeting, though. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna do something. I've got to dress safe. Um, <laughs> next week, yeah. I, I feel that I feel that my CO is gonna get me now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be great. You in a fucking football helmet. No, oh my guys, God, if that doesn't seem special no, that Olympics, help you. I don't know what does. No, you guys, seriously, Paul and Jimmy, I really take this serious. I mean, it is a good organization. I'm just poking a little fun. Dave knows I would never, you know, talk bad about an organization. But besides my family, I mean, I don't have a whole lot to live for, you guys. I mean, i got my family. I've got my health. i got my life right now. But since I've met Dave and Les, I mean, these guys have changed my life, you know, um, over the last few months, man. And they've given me reason to live, you know what I mean? That's Before what I'm I was, hoping. I got my kid and the baby mama moving in at the end of the school year so he could finish the school year and then I'm going to have my son living with me. Well, that'll be good, Jimmy. I think it'll like be I good said, for that's going to be an eye-opener for me. I think it'll be good for you, Jimmy. I think it'll <laughs> oh, be good for you. Wait, now he's going to be at my house no all the time. Either. Well, um, I got I a just... very large family and... I, look, I have a sister that lives less than a mile from where I live. Yeah. I, I speak to her maybe once every six months. Hey, you got you got you got me beat. I'm the black sheep of my family. They're all afraid of me. Then nobody talks to me. Oh, I'm the black sheep of my family. Black sheep my of the family. My sisters come see me once in a while. But that's about it. They showed up the other day unexpectedly. My family all got me blocked. They got me blocked. <laughs> yeah, me too. They don't show up in my house. They're scared to death. Well, that's because of the, all the booby traps. <laughs> you know, I, you know what I thought about that. Dave probably does got booby traps around his house. Right, I mean, he does. I mean, I bet he would. I mean, the Dave's kind of guy that could. I mean, I bet he could build some booby traps, man. It's, it just it, you, you, you like pulling up to the house. It says no trespassing. The next sign says minefield with like a skull and crossbones. <laughs> but guys, booby traps are illegal. I would never do that. Oh, absolutely no, I know. <laughs> well, Paul, Jimmy. Now that I we was, got that out of the way. <laughs> I was never. I Joe's was never. Joe's well, you just thank you for that. <laughs> Step on a big, put a big six penny uh, nail up your foot or something, man. Um, uh, I, 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 shotgun shell. You don't use a nail. Use a shotgun shell. That way, when they step on it, blow the foot off. Can you trick? Can you mess up? Can you make something like that, Dave? Actually, really do that? Well, well that would be illegal if you made that, Donald. So, but, well, yeah, know, we, but, we got the idea. Just but, don't worry but, about it. You're not going to get in trouble. Say it. Let's just say crap hits. <laughs> let's just say crap hits the fan, Dave. Do you know how to make booby traps? Yes. Good. 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 <laughs> we got him. <laughs> we got him on tape. <laughs> Dave, um, I'm learning uh, a lot know, about all, my friends. All, all, all them alphabet agencies, they can all kiss my butt anyway. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? That's another. 
why do we need all these agencies? Why do we need an ATF? I don't well, I mean, know. Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Why is alcohol and tobacco lumped in with firearms? Uh, they're outdated because alcohol, everybody can make beer now. Yeah, right? They can make your own booze, yeah. whatever you want to do, you can make your own. So Why there should be no yeah. more alcohol. And tobacco and firearms. Tobacco, well, they're still it, looking it, at it, the it, stupid stamps in the bottom of the, the pack. That's like in yep. New Market, New Hampshire, there's a store. I swear to God. It says um, fruit and real estate. Fruit and real estate? Yeah, they sell fruit oh, and fruit. real estate. Fruit, okay. Fruit. Fruit. <laughs> that's like that movie, uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. It says chicken and gas. I mean, who would want to buy a chicken at a gas station, man? <laughs> I do. Ain't, ain't that kind of like buying sushi at a gas station? Yes. yes. Never buy sushi at a gas station. No. <laughs> I've never been to any place. Oh, I'm convenience sure. store. There's, there's literally, I swear to God, there's a gas station in town. It's a mobile station. They sell fried chicken. It's good fried chicken. It's called Clem's. Clem's. <laughs> Clem's. <laughs> I know there used to be a store around our area. It was called the Skillet. I think it might have been a restaurant, Dave. Remember down on Verity? It was called the the, the Skillet or something like the Black Skillet or the Greasy Skillet or something. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that. Well, it was down there by the. It was a Mexican place. I don't know. It just it just it didn't sound like a place I wanted to eat. I mean, it just sounded nasty, man. It, I yeah. think it was called the Greasy Skillet or something, and it just sounded. It, it had heart attack all over the side. Yeah. You know what I mean? The the house house we, got a we got a spoon. We got a good meal. You guys, um, I want to I want to tell you something. This is this is serious, man. When I was a kid, this is really this is a true story, you guys. Oh God. Uh, and I'm serious now. When I when I went to the grocery store, when I used to go to the grocery store with my mom, I was afraid to go down that aisle that they sell toilet paper. I mean, I was afraid that Mr. Whipple was going to come out um, screaming at me, man, you know, don't squeeze the sermon or don't go look at it. Mr. Mr. You guys, Mr. Whipple took his job too serious. He yeah, still, he did. When I was a kid, I was afraid of Mr. Whipple. I thought he was going to get me, guys. He was scary looking, man. I mean... I'm I'm trying to think how old I was when Mr. Whipple came I remember, out. don't squeeze the shaman. Yeah, don't squeeze the shaman, yep. Well, when you were a kid. I was already a teenager by then. Well, when you see that, as a kid, you really think it's true, and that's what I thought. Yeah. This old guy's going to come out and scream at me for even looking at the sermon, you know? So, uh, yeah. I wouldn't go down that aisle. And another thing, you guys, <laughs> the poor Pillsbury Doughboy. Let's think about this little feller. I mean, the little feller, I always sit down. He's, he's a cute little feller made of dough, the Pillsbury Doughboy. He's always standing there, and everybody that sees him wants to poke him in the belly button. Then he goes, he, he, he. I mean, you know, Pillsbury Doughboy probably died of ulcers, you guys, from being poked so many times. Just like they do with babies. If they smile, if you touch them in the mouth. Gotta grab his cheeks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get a re uh, reaction. I don't know, but oh, I've always Jesus felt sorry for Christ. him. For a hey, Pillsbury no. Doughboy, do, yes. Do that, do that Pillsbury Doughboy again. Do it again. <laughs> 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 you sound like you fucking sound like Peter Griffin. Uh, Chest of a the Melasta. <laughs> you guys hey, ever felt hey, sorry guys, for the Pillsbury Doughboy? That, no, that, that, no, that's no, what I never he sounds did. like when I'm mounting. Oh, God, Dan, yeah. don't mention it again. I didn't put my foot in my mouth again tonight for the 15th time that over these, what do we have, four of these shows now? Every yeah, time he, we have one of these shows, I put my foot in my mouth. He feels sorry for the fucking Pillsbury Doughboy. You do realize it's a fucking cartoon, <laughs> I right? No, but he's so, he's so cute, you guys. I mean, look at him. And everybody pokes the poor little feller, man. He oh, hit him he, with he, a he reminds me of the Michelin tire guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, like a miniature Michelin, Michelin man. man. A, man, a yeah. miniature Michelin man. That's a good one. I would have him right in the face. You don't like the Pillsbury Doughboy? No. Uh, Paul? No, what about I don't. You? Dave, Dave, you got any heart for the Pillsbury Doughboy? No. I don't like to bully people with it. That's who he's going to yeah, bully. I, yeah, Pillsbury. I got to bully somebody smaller than me. Yeah, exactly. hey, That's uh -oh. not easy to find. You guys, uh, we're, we're forgetting. Um, Dave needs to give us his weekly update on the goats. It's time for the weekly update, you guys. All right. The goat update. Come on, well, Dave. Well, the, the goat is growing, and it's still alive, so it's almost skillet time. Well, what about uh, the text messages you say you've been getting, Dave? on it yet. 
Well, oh yeah, we we are we we are getting text messages from Muslims that want to buy the goat. Nice. And you guys, they don't want to eat it neither. They don't want to eat it, you guys. You know what they're wanting to do with it, right? Yeah, they want to fuck it. Well, I mean, you <laughs> Muslims that are uh, that. texting for the goat. Why what? don't they have their own goats? I, I don't know. Well, <laughs> there's not many goats in Ohio, guys. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to buy a no, goat, but I won't there's raise There's tons them. of goats in Ohio. Well, not around Middletown. I've never seen any around our area, but um, I was going to tell Dave that he needs to stamp his goat with one of those Me Too hashtags on its forehead. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I already posted that, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Dave did that make a post. Good. He did make a post, you guys, about Me Too. <laughs> so, um, I mean, could you, could you see Dave out there stamping his goat with, you know, about sexual harassment, you know? Uh, hey, did, did, did you see the warning that got me from Facebook? No, I didn't. You didn't see that post I put about how something in my face violated something with yes. the oh, security. Yeah, cold. National yeah. security, yes. <laughs> Was that about the goats, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I've uncovered a major Muslim goat smuggling operation. No, no it was because you said something about an underage goat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Flip Flop is underage. we got to watch what we say, you guys. Um, that is, that is, um, uh, what hey, Dave, you got one of them retarded goats that, like, if you yell at him or something, <laughs> oh, it just, like, folds and drops. <laughs> I've Have heard you seen of them that? goats. Yes, I've seen them goats. I've heard yeah, of them. Yeah, if you yell at them or something like that, they just, they go paralyzed. They Don't they roll? Yeah, drop. they roll. They drop. Yes, yes. What do they I've beat the shit out of them to get No, the no, it's like some genetic fuck up in them. You guys, I could mute out and Google it if you want me to. Um, there's a name for them goats. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, retarded. Really? Well, then, retarded. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to mute out you yeah, yeah. so keep yeah. talking. <laughs> you just yell at it. It passes out. You're like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's just lay up in red. <laughs> That's right. I didn't even have to roofie it. <laughs> exactly. You want a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> Come here often? <laughs> Oh, you uh, are mine. Yeah, yeah. What's your sign? <laughs> Sagittarius. Yeah. Oh no, those are Aries. Aries, the, the rim. rim. They're called fainting goats, you guys. They really are. They're called fainting oh, goats. Fainting goats. I yeah. heard that. Yeah, that's really, that's really that's original. original. <laughs> I'm watching yeah, the video. Yeah, they really reached for that one, huh? <laughs> hey, 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 kind of like, kind of like our show. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, you know what? What? Point. <laughs> hey, Dave. Uh, Jeremy tried to call me a minute ago. I don't know if he was on. If he knew we was on doing our show or not, but I, I, I wouldn't. If, if on your listen, phone or the eight hundred number. I, through my phone, it's the 800 number's not coming through. At least nobody's called me anyway. Today. Nobody's called at all. Say the uh, engine. Yeah, say, oh, say yeah. the number. Say the oh, number. 800 508 5431. Come on, somebody. Call in and talk to us tonight. It's your time. Come on. Don't be embarrassed because we're not shy. Don't be shy. Just when you call in. 45 minutes. You yeah, just, plenty of time to call in. Just act like you're talking to Jimmy and. um. Just tell us what you got to say. Um, tell and us Joe, if, you if you're be... listening, fix the phone so we can get phone calls. I got a feeling that's the problem. I want Joe to call in. I want Joe, Joe to call in. Oh, no, please. Joe, call please. in to see if the phone's working. Call in, Joe. Uh, you think he's listening, you guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's he's out there listening somewhere. Well, Joe, if he is, if he is he's laughing his ass off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You wouldn't be laughing watching fucking your listeners fucking disappear. <laughs> he, said, he said, I can't believe I left these idiots on the air. What the fuck was I thinking? Oh, God. I'm probably killing my show. You guys, um, seriously, though, Tuesday night, I've got a lot of good topics for Tuesday night show, man. I mean, I've, I've been yeah, working on this all Yeah, you do now. Week. Like I said, you get the most because you got from Thursday to Tuesday. I got from Tuesday to Thursday. Be right back, guys. You know oh, what I mean? It was go. only two days, and both days was the Florida shooting. You know, I four hours. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. You, I know, you, we had I, nothing this week. Because we use up all the topics, and you only get two days' worth. I wasn't thinking about that, man. Well, not to mention, Jimmy was fucking... 
like staring into space the whole fucking show. Like I said, there was nothing. I I was watching all day long, but all day long was the Florida shooting. There was Jimmy, no, um, no. You need to you need to download the Dennis Michael Lynch app. It's called DML app, and every time there's breaking news, I mean, I could send it to you guys, but man, just download it and it just breaks up. I mean, every time there's a story, I mean, it's just you can ask Dave. He's got it, don't you, Dave? The DML app. And it's just breaking news. I mean, it's every every minute or two there's a story coming up, you guys. And um, yeah, I've got that for um, Fox News that, that constantly comes up. Oh, okay, okay. But um, if you guys want me to, I can start sending you all kinds of stuff from Tuesday to Thursday. I mean, but some of the stuff is yeah. Here we go. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. this is the eight hundred number. number. That's all the eight hundred right. number just cool. came in. Oops. Dead there, there. silence. <laughs> That's what I got. Two of those here tonight. <laughs> Two of them. I, was, I, was, I ain't uh, talking. I ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Hello. Put it up to the mic. Hello. Hello. Joe, that you? Still on the phone. You got it. You got it on speaker. Your phone on speaker. Yeah, I do. Well, that ends out. He was probably just opening the 800 number. Well, no, Joe's got shitty service down in his basement. Well, who's ever out there? Call in. Come on. Talk to us. I know you can't hear us, but talk to Jimmy. We can hear you. Call in. Yeah, with better That's phone service. That's not helping. Right. That is not helping. The number is <laughs> 1-800-508-5431. Well, whatever and you got. Give us any opinion, any story. Oh, here we go again. Is it Joe again? Yeah, I think so, probably. Who knows? Is it private? I hate the one. <laughs> Which one? Oh, please. Hello? Oh. First call of what? First call of a long time. All right, it's Joe. You, you uh, reception sucks. You fucking idiot. I said I'm a first time caller. Okay? You're cutting out. Your service sucks. I can't sucks. hear you. You're cutting out. I'm on a cell phone, you friggin' me. I'm on a cell phone. I, and I got the cell phone <laughs> right up to the mic. <laughs> okay, I'm everywhere. Okay, I listen to all the shows. It's all gone. I listen to the show. And, and Dave, I listen to the show. Where the hell is uh, Les Dymo? I'm really pissed off. He's not here tonight. He's, he's saving his voice. He's, he's saving laryngitis. Tell him. Yeah, he's got laryngitis. He's saving it for Tuesday. Tell him to take some honey. <laughs> <laughs> he's got laryngitis. He's got laryngitis. He's got laryngitis. He's got laryngitis. He said, "Tell him to t- take some honey." <laughs> take some honey. <laughs> tell Joe I said hello. Tell him I said hello. Uh, he Donald did. says uh, hello. Know. Dave says hello. What time do you? I said I don't give a fuck. What time? What? What time do you come on? We come on at 7. We, yeah, we come on at 7. 7 to 9. You, you uh, took my two uh, hours away. Uh, I had to do something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're, we're ready for Irina tonight. Behind the velvet rope. At 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Yeah, I, I gotta go pick up my dry cleaning in like an hour. Anything else? With Irina tonight? Irina's on tonight, yeah. I hope so. She didn't make last week because she was um, Two weeks, caught Jimmy. up in a scene. Two yeah. weeks. <laughs> Filming or something. She, she was getting yeah, she... indicted for the Russia collusion. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, um, Paul. Oh, she's one of the 13? Yep. She's number 12 out of Posing 13. Posing as an American? Yep. yep. Paul, ask Joe if he's been listening uh-huh. to the show. He has. He has. Oh, That's yeah, what he, he said. Is. He has been listening to this. Believe me, he has. So have I made an ass of myself tonight? And yes, and very properly. Donald wants to know, did he make an asshole out of himself tonight? Mr. Sheila, what's going on? You know what I mean? But you guys have been saying I could have a good time, and I don't want to break up the fight. Well, he told us Sky Mode to text me. Okay, get his ass on the fucking radio. Yes, sir. All right. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for calling in, boss. See you, See you boss. Joe. See you later. Well, um, apparently Joe likes less. 
Yeah, no account. Yeah, change. what did he say? You don't have to hit the button. All right, shut up. <laughs> what did he say about Les? I think he really likes Les. I mean, he told he said for Les to take some honey. That's good for your throat, I guess. When you take honey. Yeah, you and, do. Honey tea. Honey with tea. And uh, Les sounded better tonight, you guys, than he did uh, last yeah. Tuesday. Well, he's He'll got be... a scratchy voice. Well, no, not only that, but he sounded like he was excruciating pain trying to talk. Yeah, yeah. It, it sounded painful for him to do it, yeah. Well, I feel sorry for, for him uh, when I'm even too. talking Absolutely. to him. Absolutely. Because... Believe me, I get laryngitis all the time. I know how it feels. And I'm on the phone, and I'm like, Les, man, don't even talk to you. Save your voice. Um, I'll talk to you later when you get better, I, you know, so he don't get his voice any worse. Um, yeah. We need him on Tuesday. I mean, he is a he is a big part of our show, Dad. Yeah, absolutely. And all yeah. three of us, I think we, I don't know, I think we do a good job. Yeah, on I think we play well with each, each other. other. Exactly. Absolutely. I think I've got two good co-hosts, you guys. Dave Cook and, and Les And that should be Skyma. a new theme song for your I wish show. I was that lucky. <laughs> well, you guys... <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to recruit a co-host, but people are like, um, everybody always makes excuses like, I don't have a, a laptop, or I don't have a microphone, or um, I, there has to be somebody out there, you guys. I mean, come on. Yeah, no, everybody lives off their phone now. They think it's cheaper. They won't get a computer. <laughs> they won't have a laptop. They won't have, you know what I mean? I've got a, I've got a gorgeous all-in-one <laughs> computer touch screen. I got to start it up. I'm doing mine off my phone right now because I left my laptop at home. Yes. See how Dave is? He, see how dedicated Dave is? He used yeah. his phone, you guys. Yes. His phone. He's a trooper. Yes. I, I love let it. me tell you something. It, it's a pain in the ass to get it to get it set up. What, from the phone or the yeah, from laptop? The, from, the phone, from, from the phone. Yeah, you I guys, tried to do it with Jimmy. Um, I was in D.C. one time, tried to do it over the phone. It was horrendous. I was like, do you know what? I'm out. I'm well, out. I'm out. losing service. And I'm in, I'm in the fucking heart of D.C. Well, yeah, you've you got guys. to, uh, you got to put it, you got to put all the info in twice to, to get it to work. It, it's really hard to find a good co-host. I mean, I, I've went through a few of them, but I, I think well, right I've been now, at the hotels where I couldn't get reception and it kept coming in and out. Yeah. So I go down to the lobby. I get, they always have good reception in the lobby. Uh, that's right. Uh, who was your first um, co-host? Who you talking to me? It was. Yeah. Uh, don't you remember Todd? He would always Todd, talk about Todd, Hillary. Todd. Yeah. Todd, Todd did, something Doyle. Todd Doyle. Uh, I don't. Well, I shouldn't say his name. He may get me for defamation or something. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm not saying anything bad. Hey, I'm not going to say nothing bad. Uh, you it's, don't have to. We'll say uh, it for you. Then, then I had. Um, then I brought Chad aboard, but. Um, it just didn't work out. I don't hate Chad. I have nothing against Chad. But I got Dave and Les, and it seems like the show is where it needs to be right yeah, now. Right. And Absolutely. Donald's going through co-hosts like molasses through a wooden lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's trial, it's trial <laughs> and error, you guys. Up. <laughs> it's trial and error. And well, I you do go on air and I produce you. I literally got to uh, turn your volume down so I don't listen. <laughs> I got, wait a minute! I don't Hold on, Jimmy. That's how I listen to the show too. Hold I, on, now, I, Jimmy. I, 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 I got to jump in. I want to jump in. I got to say something. Well, I, that's what I was going to ask you. I thought that our show was that you. No, I turn on Fox News and I listen to that while you're on. <laughs> so, I, so, I'll listen to it after you're done. You know, Jimmy, I mean? you're the not helping. Day. So I thought I thought that you listened to our show, Jimmy. No, because otherwise I'd be slamming on the button. He'd be oh, trying the, the, to jump in. Yeah, exactly. I mean, do we hit points that you want to talk about? I mean, when we're talking, I mean, well, do we I, hit? Like I said, this thing comes through my mind as you're talking. Well, you're the producer; you can jump in. You know what? I used to listen to these shows the next day. I used to listen to all of them. I used to get so pissed off at some of the shows that I'm sitting there and I'm I'm I'm, I'm hitting the button to talk to them, and it's a pre-recorded show. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Now that's funny, Jimmy. I like that one. Man, <laughs> that's that's how how Papa, Papa you know Papa he's not deter- fucking lying to you. Papa's deteriorated though. Now we got to put a post-it note on him reminding him to play the show. <laughs> <laughs> But like you got Paul, I mean, you got to find somebody else like Paul that that works with you that feeds off each other, man. Like, oh, me and Les, like I said, they, we need a third person. Yeah, we've tried, we've tried to find other people, but you most people come. can't fucking pay attention. 
Well, they got to be ready to, to answer questions and get to the point. You know what I mean? I wouldn't take anything for Dave and Les right now. I love them both, and um, I'm, I'm really happy to have what I've got, you guys. I really yeah, am. Yeah. And you guys do do a, a very good show. And I'm not just blowing smoke up your ass on that one. This is the first not joke I've made all night. Oh, yeah, I wanna, <laughs> hey, I want to thank you, Paul. I want to thank you. I mean, that means a lot to me. It does. I mean, like I said, the Sheepdogs, my family, this show that I do, I do it because I love doing this. So I have fun. And I do it for America, too, guys. I love my country. I really do. I, I do, love too. And, I'm and America I loves you for it. I hope we get four more years of Trump. I guess my biggest question is then, Donald, why in the hell are you doing this show? <laughs> yeah, really? This, this show, you love America? And this this show, show, you thank him? This <laughs> show is because you guys are my friends, and I like having fun. I, 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 I'm a happy guy. I love to laugh, and you guys really get me laughing on here. I'm serious, man. Right, like that's I, what it's about. Like I said, we talk politics all the time. Yeah. I show my shows, and it's great to just... Uh, just just let it here. go. Like when let Paul was talking about turkeys, I was crying, you guys. I was literally <laughs> crying in the floor. And I love this show, and um, hopefully Joe will let us keep it for a while. It'd be nice, I mean, to keep this all. Oh, this ain't going nowhere. We yeah, may go back to an hour. hour. We I mean, may get stuck back to going to an hour, but we're not going to lose this show. I mean, you guys, we could be picking up a lot of listeners out there right now. Uh, I, think, right. I think this is way better than, i um, tell you the truth. It's good for our own shows because they, now they know who we are. You know, and I, think this this show's show's better than either, I think this show's better, better than, than either of our separate shows. shows. I think so. Well, it's, I'm, def it's definitely funnier. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. <laughs> well, I've got to be serious when it comes to politics. I mean, I don't have to be, but I take it. I'm passionate no, I know. about and politics. Some people look for that while you talk about See, I, I have a hard time being serious about anything. I've just been on Earth long enough to know that <laughs> even um, serious shit can be laughed at. It, right. It's got to be laughed at. Otherwise, well, even insane. this whole shooting would be laughed at. You know, I, I, right? They haven't come me, out with it. Oh, yet. I've had a ton of jokes ready to rock. <laughs> well, you guys, they even made jokes. Remember, remember when those NASA the, that that first space shuttle, the uh, shuttle? Came down? Yeah. the oh, first yeah. one, they had jokes coming out. It wasn't three days after that thing Some landed. Assembly yeah. required the, the Christian McAuliffe doll. Yeah, Some yeah. assembly required. Yep. No. It, <laughs> And they, they said, you you guys know what color her eyes were. I mean, it was really blue. cool, but blue. it's funny. Blue, they both, one blue this way, one blue that way. <laughs> one day, <laughs> one day <laughs> identify the black guy in the shuttle accident. How's that? He had seven wallets in his pocket. Oh, God. <laughs> did, did, what does NASA stand for? You remember that joke? Need another, Need seven, another seven astronauts. astronauts. Yes. <laughs> there are so many NASA jokes, and why can't you make fun out of things? Let's, life is, let's have fun in life, you guys. We only live <laughs> once. Let's have fun while we're here. Right. Man. It just takes time. There'll be some Florida jokes. Oh, fuck oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I hate yeah. to say it because they lost their lives, but somebody yeah, will know. make jokes up. Somebody the, will make the, jokes the up. The Florida <laughs> meme war is about to begin. Yeah, do you know what? The the best epitaph I could have for my death is dying in a way where everyone would get a fucking laugh out of it. Well, I don't understand why the, the each city with the schools don't have police in each one. Ah, uh, we're not going political. Uh, you know what? We've got that as a main topic on uh, we Tuesday night. We Great. got a call. Great. 1-800-CALL. Hit the one, Jimmy. It's yeah, yeah, the yeah. one. This, this ought to be good. Hello? You on air? Well, where am I saying to be the co-host? Who is this? Again, where am I saying to be the co-host? Oh, you want to be one? Oh, shit! You can yeah. be the co-host? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you funny? I I drink a little bit. Uh, yes, you'll fit, fit in right perfectly. In. <laughs> You're hot. <hired. Yeah>, right. <laughs> well, what's your politics? Oh, damn right. What? What's your politics? Do you lean to the right or to the left? Oh, I can't, you can't hear me. To the left, do you lean to the right? At this point, I think she's leaning in both directions. <laughs> Are you swaying? <laughs> or zigzag in the middle? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Joe. Joe? Joe. 
Where are you from, hon? Oh, that's a dude. Uh, that's a guy? Yeah, I know. It was that a girl a first. Would you switch persons? No. You're not transgender, are you? Jimmy's afraid of transgender. <laughs> yeah, 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 Jimmy's uh, not totally uh, cool with the transgender thing yet. Dave, I wish they could hear us, Dave. <laughs> I wish they could hear us. Dave, I wish they could hear us. I know it. <laughs> Keep talking, Jimmy. Keep talking with us. Yeah, talk to him. Talk to him. We'll shut up. That's a guy. Yeah, it's a guy, Paul. Oh, it's a guy now? Keep talking, Jimmy. I think it always was. I don't know. What's your first name? Joe. Joe. Joe, you want to be a co-host? Yeah. I drink a little bit. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. We're looking for a co-host. Sounds like you're on pills, too. <laughs> what? A little more than alcohol. Yeah. No. Uh, see, that's what I mean. You're really slow on the mic. Yeah, you got to be a little more interesting than that person. <laughs> No, see, I didn't say guy, girl. I said, okay. <laughs> you think you can go out for pills? We're not going to take me seriously and stuff. It's, you know, I don't think we can do business. <laughs> Come on, Timmy, talk to her. Talk to oh, her, Timmy. Shit. Don't let her this leave. Like, no, 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 no. No, no. Let her keep talking. <laughs> Just keep right. going. Yeah, give us a little uh, information about you. Yeah. What are your likes, your dislikes? Yeah. Um, what are your hopes, dreams? What do you think about the school shooting? I, no, we're not doing well, politics. Oh, I think not. that was wrong. They screwed up. They screwed up on that now. I'm telling you right now. The FBI they did. They messed up. Hey, ask they them if they're a guy up. or a girl. It says Joe. What? Yeah, that's going to say. Oh. Keep it going, Jimmy. Keep it going. Just keep it going, please. I, I don't know what to say. Now, give me some questions. Folks. They support Trump. She said she supported Trump, right? You, uh, he, do you he, support he. Trump? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. All right. Okay. Well, that's that, now we get something in common. Yeah, that's one stroke for you. Let's see what's next. Ask Should him what he thinks about Jeff Sessions. You know anything about Jeff Sessions? Not a lot. I don't think she's going to make it as a radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want us to call 911 for you? Because you don't sound well, hon. Step away from the heroin needle. Yeah. Put the needle down and back away. Narcan uh, now. Yeah, uh, Narcan you, now. You flunked the audition. Yeah, you, you, you blew it. You talk too slow. Try again next week. Yeah. 7 p.m.? Catch Friday me sober. Uh, go Thursday, back when you're sober. Thursday night for the right. No, you can right. get right. like this right. at the end of the night, but you <laughs> can't do this in the beginning. I don't reach guys really at all. I'm what did they say? I don't know. He, we go on. I can't make heads or fucking tills of this. Did you say how much do we pay? I said how much do we even pay? No, we don't. We don't pay. What number one is? All right, good night. All right. Have a great you gotta night. you got to be able to say more than 20 words in a show to get paid. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. What that? <laughs> Jimmy, that was a good one. I love oh, it. Oh, my God. We should have her as a co-host. <laughs> you should. That was a good one. I, 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 I thought it was a broad in the beginning, too. It was. It was a guy. She said her name was Joe. Uh, well, I, my, my stepdaughter's name is Joe. You guys, who's out there listening to us? We got some really weird people out there. I think that was a chick. I think that was a chick. Yeah, it was definitely a chick. That was a dude? He said he was on dude. alcohol, but I think it was a little more. Yeah. Either that, it was really hot. Oh, on boy, did he go on alcohol. Jimmy, you, you, had a, you had her or him going there. I wanted you to keep it going. I loved it, man. You know what? We should have just. Let's just go with it. Play just with it. him next time. That's what Paul kept calling it. it. <laughs> We have to get Jimmy through his transgender phobia, so we have to make sure he uses the right pronoun. <laughs> you should have asked her, uh, ask her if she liked toe jammers, anything, Jimmy. Yeah. Should have kept her going, man. She just I said, wasn't look, thinking. Look, I was amazed somebody called. It was, was a dude. It was a joke. It was a dude. Somebody yeah. out there, please call. Come on in. Somebody else call us. 1-800. Right 508. 
Five, four, three, one. Let's have oh, some fun. Jesus Call Christ. in. This show's about fun. Call in. Come on, everybody. Call in. Armed radio. Be heard around the world. We're just going to have a perfect country. Heck, we, we got almost a half hour left. Come on. Call in. Yeah, and we got, uh, th- we got the troops listening in 66 different countries. Huh? <coughs> Are we really in 66 countries live right yeah. now, guys? Covert and overt. <laughs> wow, wow, that's awesome. Actually, um, me and Jim have a decent following with the military. From yeah, what we I do. Have. Really? Uh, well, that's because uh, <laughs> we're so close to the name. Armed Forces Radio, we're Armed Radio. And a lot of the uh, groups listen to us. Yeah, how do you, how do you tell? They, how do you tell about the listeners? How do you guys tell how many listeners you get? Well, we also get a lot of feedback from uh, when one of the uh, hosts, Called uh, Memorial Day uh, Barbecue Weekend, uh, the troops called in. They were very pissed. Yeah, they were not happy about it. So and got, Joe relieved him of yeah, his duties. We relieved him of his duties. <laughs> really? You got yeah. yes. That's one thing on our shows. We should always uphold our military on any yeah, of exactly. our shows. Damn right. They're the ones that protect our freedom. They protect our ass, brother, and we better we better praise them, men and women. You guys, because they're because wrong. of them, we have the we have the freedom. To be the douchebags we are on this. They're station. on God duty <laughs> listening to us to pass their time and entertain them. That's you the know, least right. we could do. Uh, and, and the only thing I got to say to them is we're sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, they probably don't. Yeah, for sorry. the poor quality radio. <laughs> no, <laughs> this has been a good show. <laughs> now, Dave, yeah, I gotta... they're, laughing, they're laughing their ass off. Yeah, well, exactly. We can... We could ask Dave. Um, Dave, when you was over there, if, if you heard us talking, would you listen to us uh, to pass your time away some night? Oh. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. He had to force that one out. <laughs> I mean, you would have had your buddies standing around laughing at us, wouldn't you, Dave? I mean, maybe. Well, you got... well I mean, uh, t- until you started talking about getting mounted, it was a pretty good show. <laughs> well, oh, oh God. I'm ne- he's not going to let me live this one down, you guys. He's never going to let me live this one down. I you really. Get married to who? The goat? No. I, mean, my, I my really put my. I really put my foot in my mouth tonight on that one, you guys. I, it was worse than saying I like Peter. <laughs> I mean, how bad is it get? I'm talking about Dave Mountain me here. Um, well, I don't then, he goes into detail. then he goes into detail. Well, there's the full mount and the yeah, half and mount. And the half mount. <laughs> like, like the full Nelson, the half I mean, Nelson, and the father Nelson. Well, he gets in those Nelsons too, but um, I'm always looking when he gets me down like that and says he's going to mount us. It's like he's going to pull up a uh, can of KY jelly out of his pocket or something. Well, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. oh. Uh, it's a it's rigged for your pleasure. I go if, and dry, baby. If you ever met Dave, we, we try to get him in a headlock. Dave's got he's got no neck, you guys, and you just can't get your arm around his neck on neck. You can't and I tried to pick him up and he's lighter than me. You guys, I'm a pretty big guy. And he felt like he was like a I don't know, weighed like a ton or two. I couldn't pick him up, man. I don't I don't know what it is about people like Dave, but uh, I'm telling you, I, I've told you guys before, I, I've met a lot of guys, I've fought a lot of people in my life when I was younger, I'm just glad I never ran across somebody like Dave Coots when I was growing <laughs> up, guys. Well, well, you are talking about trying to pick up a guy. Well, I, now there I go again, I stuck my foot in my mouth again, didn't I? Oh, yep. God, man. Open Dave. mouth, insert foot. Dave, you're going to have to give me some practice on quit putting my foot in my mouth, okay, Dave? <laughs> Brother, you got a shovel digging a hole. Well, <laughs> you know what? At least, at least on Tuesday nights on All Aboard, I'm the one. I'm the one asking the questions. <laughs> so. uh there, I love that. I, anyway, you guys, I didn't tell you this tonight. I want to tell you guys a little something that I was reading. Maybe you guys read this too. Um, it's about over in uh, uh, Italy. The Italians right now, they, they say they're outraged. Um, they've got these places called um, immigrant welcome centers. And one of the migrants from Nigeria attempted to barbecue a dog. And they said the, Itali- the Italians are outraged over this. I guess people in Nigeria eat dogs. They barbecue freaking dogs. You yeah, guys. Obama, uh, did did I, Obama eat a dog before? Yeah, I'm going to eat the goat. I'm going to eat the goat. Dave, yeah, but it's, it's not, not like a dog. dog. I mean, Dave, why would you eat the goat? It tastes like lamb. That sucks. 
Yeah, I don't like lamb either. I've never Can had you? either. I mean, they don't have much meat on the goat if you think about it. Clip? Oh, no. Those goats, those goats out there in the barn, they're, they're like almost 100 pounds. Well, how many oh, goats really? you got, Dave? How many goats you got total? No, uh, I think there's three of them out there now. <laughs> oh, okay. At the, at the moment. <laughs> at the now, mo yeah, until to, to flip flop flops on the grill. Wait a minute now. <laughs> these are, they are these your goats or Dana's goats? That's the, your wife, right? Uh, Dana, brother, they, they, ain't, they ain't none of that crap mine. That's all theirs. It's all Dana's and your your girls, right? Oh, so you ain't going to be tasting goat until he dies of old age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk about stringy and fucking just, you just got to gnaw on it. <laughs> now, that's yeah. just when you say, whoops, honey, at target practice, and I accidentally shot your goat. Mm. I'm right. supposed to clean him and eat him. Did you guys imagine and then, why and then those... two days later, you're the one in the crosshairs <laughs> accidentally. You want to shoot my goat, do you? <laughs> and his wife would too. I think she'd. I think she'd skin him alive if he were touching the goats, man. <laughs> I think she'd skin him. It all depends on what personality the goat's got. If she Put loves the fucking him. lotion in the basket. Oh, Love dude. Uh, yeah. Put the lotion in the back. Put the lotion on the skin. <laughs> Jimmy, you just talked to him. I can't believe you. You, pre you was probably talking talking to a transgender earlier, man. I mean, this person was out of our mind. You don't know what that was. Yeah, we don't know what it was. Who was that? It, it, it was, it was something. One of you be our co host? Yeah, that wasn't Joe, host. was it? I mean, that did, was you know. Um, did we say anything about a co host? Yes, we were saying we needed a third person on board. The, yes, right, but that was before the show. show. No, no, no we were talking it was about during it. the show. Oh, we're still looking for a third person. <laughs> hey, pop all, pop all, pop all, pop all, pop all, pop all, we're looking for a third one. person. <laughs> we well, the first looking... attempt worked out great. All right, guys. I'm on it. <laughs> well, hey, let's hey, guys. Guys. audition. What can we say? Oh, you guys... that was great. But I got to ask him the same question uh, twice. Uh, uh, <laughs> you guys mind? Hey, listen, this guy that I know named Jeremy Gibbs, he said he'd like to be your co-host, and he was calling me earlier. Should I call him back and put him on air? What do you think, Dave? Should I bring him on air with us, live air? What did, what did he want? He said that he would be your co-host. All and, right, get him on in. Get him on in. Let's now, see. now Let's you guys, if I do it. We got, uh, what, we got right. the time. I got to ask. 15 uh, minutes. I got to ask. 15 Dave. minutes, do it quick. Is it okay, Dave, with you? You think it's cool? Well, I don't care. All right. I'll get your permission first. Here I go. I'm going to call Jeremy. I still get it on speakerphone, too. Do that, Jimmy. Keep talking. I got to take a whiz. All right, here it is. Now, I'm going to tell him he's on live. What's happening? Is this Jeremy? Yeah. Hey, Jeremy, uh, me, Dave, and Paul and Jimmy's got you live right now across the world. Um, when you called earlier, we were doing our show. Um, this is called All In, and, and our CO is on here. Actually, Mr. Coots is on here listening to you. You can't hear them, but they can hear you. Um... So, oh, that's nice. So what would you that's like? Because I can talk all kinds of crap and they can't talk back. <laughs> well, they can tell me. I can hear them when, when they're saying something. But uh, is there anything you'd like to... Now, this is basically like an audition for the part. Uh, our friends Jimmy and Paul are looking for a third co-host. Or a second co-host. I mean, there would be three guys on the show. So um, <coughs> what, do you, what do you want to talk about, Jeremy? I want to know what I want to talk about. I think there's all kinds of stuff. What do you want to know, Jimmy? Ask me what you want to I know. I want to know if he smokes pot. Yeah, that was the question. Was all, the question. all right. Um, they want to know if you smoke pot, Jeremy. No. No, he doesn't smoke pot. Bye. Dave. Done. All right, all right Dave. Ball. What was your no, question? No. What was hey, your question? I was just going to tell you. He knows that this is a cut-up show, right? Tell him to spit it out or talk around it. All right, um, Dave says, Jimmy, uh, our CO says, you know this is a comedy show, so spit it out, or what, Dave? Or talk around, around it. Talk around it, Jeremy. <laughs> so come on, tell us something, Jeremy. I got you on live air. I can't keep you on long, so uh, tell us something. Uh, make, make yourself sound co-host worthy. Co-host worthy? I've never been on the radio, so I'll do my best. <laughs> Are you good at politics? I know you study politics. Oh, right? yeah. I've been 
dealing with politics and studying politics since before Obama was elected. Uh, the first time. What about quick reactions? I mean, the thing, whole thing is, Jeremy, I, I didn't get to you. Um, this is kind of uh, like a funny show we do every Friday. And um, I'm just trying yeah, to... Yeah, no, I've been listening. Oh, you have been listening. Oh, nice. Okay, so you well, thank me, you, brother. You've heard me put my foot in my mouth all night tonight, then, right? Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. All right. So, uh, Paul and Jimmy are looking for a co-host, and the thing is, there's no dead air. And um, we had somebody call in earlier, and they they just didn't cut it, Jeremy. They, <laughs> they were, couldn't. They, they couldn't keep the conversation. No air. We thought they was on drugs or something. Okay, I don't right know what now. they was doing. Well, they sure sounded <coughs> like it. It sounded real, uh, uh, you know, like I did when I did that live video with the horse's mask on the other day. <laughs> All right, Jeremy. I just wanted Jimmy and him to hear you, and um, I just wanted to call you <coughs> and and go back to resume <coughs> li resume listening to the show. We got another ten minutes or thirteen minutes, and um, right. but this you are under consideration. They yes, said you. you are. You are under consideration, Jeremy. Leave your information. Well, I'm well, done. Done. That yeah. all matters. I got his number and his um, Facebook account. Um, I'll have Jeremy. I'll have. I'll give you their name, and you can send them a, a friend request, and they can tell you what to uh, download and all that stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I won't accept it, but yeah. Oh, it's good to me. <laughs> all right, Jeremy. Anything you want to say before I hang up? Um. Well, let's see. Fuck Obama, fuck Hillary. You know, is that good enough? F Obama, F Hillary. All right, they're okay. clapping. They're all fuck clapping. Obama, fuck Hillary. Hillary. Okay, you're my guy. He said, he, hey, Jimmy said you're their guy. Well, well, he, 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 if you know to be our co-host, we'll have you on. He oh, yeah. said, hey, they okay, want you to say, say it again. Jeremy, say it again, loud and clear. I said, fuck Obama, fuck Hillary, fuck gun control. There yes. you go. All right, yes. thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. He will and, uh, be a guest no matter what, even if he's not our new co-host. Yeah, All right, exactly. Jeremy. I You're welcome on the air with us Tell anytime. Tell him he can come brother. on next Thursday. Next uh, Thursday. Uh, get Go and get my number. Time. I'm going to get him on TV. Yeah, you want to come right. on Thursday with us, brother? All right, You're Jeremy. Welcome. They're they're saying they want they yeah. want you they want you, Jeremy. So I'll let you go. I'll tell you the details later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that works for me. I'll be up for a while. i got a three-day weekend ahead of me. I ain't going to sleep yet. All righty. We'll see. We'll talk to you later, brother. All right. You're hired. Bye. All right. All right. Later, man. Bye. Um, I hope he knows there's no pay to this. But, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we never did mention that, huh? Remember that one guy? Or he, she said, how much does it pay? And like, Jimmy, or you should have said it pays $1,000 a show, ma'am. Oh, ma it would have been great if we did should, that. Oh, they we could have kept going. Then when they came over, oh, they'd sue me. God. You think no, he wouldn't have sued you. He would have sued Joe. Oh, he right. would have sued Joe. <laughs> how much does it pay? Well, well sorry, Joe. It pays nothing. It pays your attention. Yeah, yeah it gives you something to do every week, guys. I yeah, mean, come on. It's a fucking hobby. It's 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 about having fun. Everybody wants money, money, money. I wanna how much? How much? I mean, I watched a I watched a live video the other day and this guy brought this lady in her his live video and that's the first thing she asked him, Do you pay me for coming on here? And she that guy says, No. It was a Facebook video and she thought she was gonna get paid. No, she thought she was hot. hot. No, no, Dave, no. She was opposite of hot. She was cold. <laughs> she was cold, Dave. I mean, no, I'm trying to be nice about it. I'm trying to be nice. She was cold. Dave, Dave I'm talking ice cold, okay? You mean hot. I'm talking uh, frozen. Frozen. You mean right? like beastie? <laughs> beastie, ugly, manly, um... Uh, oh. whatever you want to say. We're you talking about transgender. You're talking coy no. coyote ugly, huh? Yes, and uh, she's like, how much do you, am I getting paid to do this video? And the guy was like, ma'am, I don't pay you nothing. Uh, I'm not even getting paid. And people are, people are strange out there, you guys. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, um, they're not everybody, people, but there's. People ah. will do anything for a dollar, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what? I, yeah, I, yes, it, yes. You're on internet radio, right? It, it, and people think you like, I don't know how many people are listening. But anyways, they think you're fucking famous. It's like, not famous. <laughs> Well, just you know, a, a guy doing a stupid internet radio show. Have <laughs> any, any one of you guys have uh, um, been recognized or saying, I know you from the radio show? 
David's I gotten have... a few comments I've written to him on, on Facebook because they see, you know, they we no, 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 like met you. No, the, no. The closest we got is Paul's brother took an Uber driver. Uh, you know what I mean? He picked up an Uber. And the Uber driver recognized the voice because him and Paul sound alike. Really? And he goes, do you yeah. do a radio show? And the guy goes, my brother does, and I sound like him. And then he said, pot talking? He goes, yeah, that's Joe. it. Joe! His name was Joe. Yeah, the guy's name was Joe. But was, Joe the fucking uh, and he was Uber, in Uber driver. In Uber. Uber, Uber, Uber Joe Mills. the Uber driver. Yeah. Uber. Yeah, I recognize from my videos now. I do a lot of uh, videos, and I post them everywhere. Now, I have had a few people ask me, hey, you're the fat guy on the videos, because I, I yeah. call myself the fat man. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, And, you know, the last video we've done to me, uh, all you yeah. see is my ass. Well, That's you know, well, hey, you Paul, That's check it, it out. Yeah. Um, Dave and Daryl is, is, is raising this big flag up in front of this school. And it's over. It's about at thirteen thousand views right now, which isn't bad. I mean, I've had videos go up into the forty thousands, but um, one video for um, them guys raising a flag over thirteen thousand views, buddy. I think it's awesome. Right. Yep. T Jesus Christ! Just imagine recognizing Donald. It'd be like the fucking villagers that just show up with fucking <laughs> torches and pitchforks. Well, like, can you see what's going to happen? Somebody's going to come up to him and be like, "Donald, can I mount you?" <laughs> no, I mean, no, I mean, that is no, great. The only person, the only person allowed to mount me is Dave Coots, and he mounts me <laughs> in any way wait of now training. Now I know what you did. No, 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 no. <laughs> training what if purposes. A, what if a fan wanted to half mount you? Well, that's different. Uh, half mount is not. Uh, <laughs> hang on now. Uh, hey, well, I, I, hey. Well, my thing is, what about what about your wife, Linda? What is she? <laughs> Wait a minute now. She she like, she she like, like, she do you like that she has decent taste in humans? <laughs> Let's clear this up. Let's clear this up. The world's going to think I'm gay, you guys. The world's going to think I'm really no, gay. No, 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 no. They're not going to think it. You don't say, total. But yeah, listen. You pretty much said it. Paul, <laughs> Jimmy, when I say mounting, Dave puts us in a position where we have to get him off of us, and that's what he calls it, mounting us. I shouldn't have said it in those terms. Um, I made myself sound gay. Okay. I yeah. apologize. I, I see like I said, so serious about saying yeah. he's going to mount you. He's like, <laughs> we have to get him off us. Well, but you guys, this and, show and, is and, so and he goes hard. And he goes hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you guys, this show is for it's fun. It's God. You Hot got on. You got that right. <laughs> well, is this show is for fun, you guys. What the heck? I don't care. Let them think it. We got another six minutes. Yeah, but it don't matter. I mean, yeah. if I if I put my foot in my mouth, it's all of it's all. Fun. Yeah, is that uh, Dave with, is that wow, Dave with an E? No, it's Dave with a hat on. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think Dave gets wood when he mouths me. I really don't think he gets wood. <laughs> oh no, he does. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no, God! No, no. He's now, been he, texting me. All trust sorts me. of filthy shit. Trust me. <laughs> if Dave came up to me to do that, and I seen something, you know, sticking out of his pants or his, his pants, a big lump, I would roll off that mat. Trust me. Yeah, <laughs> man. Just yeah. Do you know what? As far as Dave sees it, man does not live by goat alone. <laughs> well, no. If you guys knew Dave, Dave is like anti. I mean, David. Like anti-goat? No, no. He's like um, the opposite of gay. I mean, he don't hate gay people, but David. I mean, you have is to be the opposite. He's the opposite of gay. He's totally Is that like a straight woman. No, hey, a straight I'm, man. I, I'm a lesbian. There, yeah, there you thank go. you, thank you, Dave. Thank you. Dave is 99.9% .9 lesbian there. Oh, there. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 100, buddy. Whoa, I was too yeah. low. I, you know, Jimmy I was going to say, so I still got a chance. So, Jimmy, Jimmy, yeah. Paul, Jimmy and Paul, I guess you're 99.9% .9 lesbian too, or 100% lesbian? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a total fag. Oh, God. I'm a lesbian. I like the leg. 100% queer. Queer as fuck. You're you're just a well fag is a bundle of sticks. I don't even know where they started that. No, crap that's a at. faggot or a cigarette. Uh, I don't know. In some countries, it's called a cigarette. Yeah, a fag. exactly. Um, a it's lot of words, England. A lot of words getting mixed up, you guys. Hell, England, you can't even get a gun in England, man. It's, it's it, what was you saying, Dave? You can't even get a knife there anymore. They're trying to ban knives now. They're trying to ban knives in New England. In England now, yeah. 
So or just kill people so with a hammer. What do you cut the steak with? A hammer. I guess you know. <laughs> <laughs> just teeth. I, but, hey guys, you know what? A quick statistical fact that, though. That cuts hammers. You out, Donald. <laughs> hammers kill more people every year than ARs do. It's ridiculous. That's right. That's, That's right. right. What does? Hammers. Oh, yeah, they do. That's Professor no, like, Douglas. He killed a fucking prostitute with the hammer. I, we, we, I I say, it, never found I the body, it. but found the hammer with brain matter on it. Her I got to say it. I got to say it so Papa can understand me. Hammer. 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 Wait a minute. Who's it's, Papa? It's hammer time. Jimmy's yeah. Papa, right? Jimmy's Papa that. or Dad? <laughs> Jimmy's my Papa. Jimmy's Papa. Okay, Jimmy's the Papa of the show. Okay. He's the oldest tonight. Les is not yeah. here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jimmy is older than Les, ain't he? Yeah, I think so. Yes, by a few months. By a few, a few months. months. Exactly. <laughs> hey, another call. We got a Great. call. Another 800 number. We'll be quiet. Uh, all right, hold on. Mess with him, Jimmy. Mess with him. Hello? My name is Joe. I'm not an EC. Oh, this is the same guy that called her. I want to get this straight. Oh, shit. Don't Joe, you're Jimmy. making me mad. <laughs> What's that? You're making okay. me mad, Jimmy. It's a guy, Donald. Say your piece. Okay. As long as you know that now. My name is Joe. I'm not an EC. Are you drunk? Uh, what? Bye. Oh, they're not a what? He, she. Um, uh, he got what mad. What the hell was that? What did he say? He said he know, wasn't a he, she. He, he oh, said, he what got the hell was it? He what said, I'm not, I don't fucking know. He said, I'm not a he, she. I'm very mad. He's mad at you, Jimmy. Oh. He, he said, I'm not a he, she. I'm were very mad. About it? Yeah. yeah, we were. <laughs> and you were calling him a he, she? I didn't we, know. We, we all were. <laughs> we didn't know what it was. What the fuck? When you go, um... He or she's mad. Uh, she, she's mad or, or he's mad. I keep getting it mixed up. Yeah. They're mad at you, Jimmy. You know what? You know making. You know making Joe feel any better about him or herself. Wait a minute. Why do you keep saying, "Oh, Joe"? Yeah, that Joe. I thought you were talking about Joe Savino. That, I know that not Joe Savino. No, I it was know the Joe from before. Yeah, the one that flunked. Yeah, the one yeah. that flunked. Um, man, Jimmy, you've got a lot of calls here tonight. I, well, he pissed some people off. I went here. down to the last minute. Oh, shit. Uh, hey, crap, you got anything you want to plug? I know, this sucks. You, you got anything you guys want to plug? Uh, post Town want... School. Post Town School. There post Town Elementary. Do... Um, I want to post, uh, I want to plug Pot Talk every Thursday night, 8 o'clock. I want to uh, uh, plug um, All Aboard every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And Armed Radio. And how how's that sound? You guys have a good a... week. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jimmy. What if the the next show doesn't show up? You want to go on for another hour? Oh shit, we could. Yeah, we could. Oh uh, shit, let's do it. I haven't checked yet, though. What, um, but, uh, how, how long will it take us to know, Jimmy? You want to stay online for a little bit? Stay online, exactly. Yeah, just stay here. Well, just in case, just God bless everybody. Good night, everybody. Time's running out. I gotta go. Bless.